What's up, everybody? How's it going? What are we doing today? It's Monday. It's tax day. It is April 15th. It is 2024. And a week ago, I did not go blind by looking at the eclipse. Uh, so, what's up, everybody? How are you guys doing today? It is, like I said, Monday. It is... Uh, no, I will not turn on automatic ads, YouTube. You are not Twitch. YouTube keeps trying to be Twitch in every single way. I mean, there's some good things about it, but the automatic ads, I do not do those during live streams. I just don't. They try to force it, and I think that I have a feeling they're going to try to force it probably starting next month. So... If it does happen, it's out of my control, and I apologize, but they keep putting this thing that's like, hey, now's a good time to insert an ad, or hey, let YouTube insert ads for you. Um, I just, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have ads during live streams, but if they happen, I can't help you guys. Uh, unfortunately, if they force it on me, there's nothing I could do. I try not to put as many ads as I can into my videos and stuff. You know, I mean, the ads are there. YouTube inserts them automatically. Um, trust me, when I upload, it's literally like YouTube just like, all right, we're going to put ads here, 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 and here. Fine. I'm not going to fight you, YouTube. So it's, it's not what I can, you know, I mean, I have some control, but it would take so much longer to just go through and try to remove them and everything. It's just like, just let YouTube do its thing. So... Um, what's up guys? We got Garrick, we got J May, we got Infected You, we got Colton. Ray, what's up, Ray? We got JC, we got Jesse, Dilrod, Aaron Campos in the his house. Aaron's playing with his chihuahuas. Oh, there you go. They're so cute. Uh Colton member for 36 months. Colton, you have made it. Three years, my friend. Thank you so much for all of your support. Over three years, my friend. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Um, what's up, Infected You? What's up, Infectious Brad? Brad, this isn't gambling on this channel. Remember, this is Arcade Channel. <laughs> uh, what's up, EG Arcade? Says Joe Dare New Claw Machine Arcade Live. What? <laughs> uh, Garrick says, watching from my dorm room. Oh, there you go, man. Hope you guys, like I said, hope you're having a good Monday. Um, it has been... You guys saw the last couple lives on this channel, and Pittsburgh has just been inundated with water repeatedly. Uh, the rivers keep breaking free. You guys saw my post about the barges. Rivers keep breaking free. Listen to me. The rivers keep flooding, and barges keep breaking free. Of course, that happens every time the river gets higher and the current is stronger. Um, talking to some of the dock workers that I know, the steel cables they use to hold those things in place and the anchors and all that stuff, they're no match for that current of the river. They will literally snap steel cables like twigs. Um, so, unfortunately, it happens quite a bit. They do try to tie them down as best they can. They do try to prepare for the worst. And sometimes the river is just too strong, man. Water is a very strong, very, very strong resource of, the, of nature. Um... You know, look at the valleys and canyons. It's eroded over millions of years, you know, cutting through rock and all that stuff. So it, water can do some serious damage. And, yeah, um, so, you know, if you guys come across any water flooded areas, like when I'm out doing that stuff or driving Uber, I'm always cautious. I'm never driving through, stand, uh, you know, water flooded roadways, all that crazy stuff. Uh, the, the, the phrase, the simple phrase is turn around, don't drown. You know, it's real simple. It's real easy. Find another way around. If there is no other way around, go wait somewhere till the water recedes. Because you never know if the road is even there under the water or not. That's the thing. You can't see under the water. The road could be eroded, washed away, and you're driving into a death pit. So just be careful, guys, out there. If you're anywhere where you're going to get flooding or things like that, just be very, very careful. Um, what's up, Amber? What's up? Um, what's up, Kirby? How you doing, Kirby? Long time no see. Hope you're doing good down there, man. Hey, I had some people from Puerto Rico in my car the other night, man. Uh, actually, I dropped them off over by where Ray lives. I uh, was talking a little bit of Spanish with them. Was doing good. Uh, a lot of fun. Ray says more rain last night, too. I know. 
Colton, I know, man, I know. Freebird, thank you. Member also for 36 months, my friend. You did it three years. How many feet of rain until Pittsburgh floods? Well, it's not feet of rain, it's inches. Um, two weeks ago, we had six inches of rain in two days. That was enough to make the rivers rise 12 and a half feet. So six inches was enough for 12 and a half feet of, uh, you know, river rise. This past Thursday, we had 2.77 inches of rain in one in like a six hour stretch. Um, it was enough to make the rivers rise about nine feet. So just to give you give you an idea there um, as to what the rain equates to, give or take. And be glad it's not snow because for what I found out, apparently one inch of rain is 12 inches of snow. And we've had... Oh, you know, nine inches of rain in the last two weeks. That'd have been nine feet of snow. So be glad. And now today it was sunny outside and 75, 76 degrees. So go figure. Um, what's up, Aaron? How you doing, man? Last Monday there were no packs of bottles of water at HEB because of the eclipse. <laughs> yeah, the eclipse was fun. Um, you guys saw my pictures on on the community tab and everything. Got to go see totality. I drove about an hour north of me here, uh, literally only about seventy miles to go see totality for two and a half minutes. It was awesome. I cannot explain how freaking cool that experience was. And you know, if you ever get the chance to see a solar eclipse totality. Go do it. It is phenomenal. It is, it is breathtaking. It is awe-inspiring. It is so interesting. When it was sixty-eight degrees out, and when the moon covered the sun, it dropped to like fifty-eight degrees. It literally dropped ten degrees. Um, and when it was totality completely, uh, they call it the three hundred sixty-degree sunset. Anywhere you look around you, it looks like sunset. Or all around you, it's so cool looking. Um, seeing the solar flares, or as they call them, prominences around the moon. I'm an, I'm an astronomical guy. I love, you know, astronomy and stuff like that. Um, so that was one of the things in, in my life that I am so glad I got to witness. You know, I could die tomorrow and be happy that I got to see that, you know. Uh, one of the things on my bucket list that I, I got to enjoy. And I've been planning this trip, you know, that I took last last Monday I've been planning that trip for over a year as to where I was going to go, what I was going to do, and it all kind of played down to where is it going to be cloudy? Where are you going to be able to see the damn eclipse? Um, yeah, so, yeah, I bought glasses like six months ago. I was prepared, man. I knew, I mean, I knew everybody was going to be last minute and everything, so I got my stuff on Amazon. Um, I paid like 12 or 13 bucks for five pairs of glasses i made sure that they were uh it's either the aas or the asa astro astro astronomical science something association or something whatever it is uh they have a website with approved distributors and approved manufacturers of those solar glasses so if you guys ever need to find out if your glasses are legit you know look at the who made it and who who distributed it and both of those that I bought, you know, who it was made by and who it was distributed by were both on the list. So we were good to go. Uh, but I did, you know, when I looked at it, you know, you're not supposed to look at it for the whole time. You're not supposed to just stare with the glasses on like, you know, for minutes at a time. You're you're supposed to look like 10 seconds and then look away again. You know, you're not supposed to stare at it the whole time. And... You know, I had my regular sunglasses on, and then I put the solar glasses over top, so I had a little bit extra protection on there. But it was cool watching it, you know. Um, it was neat, though. Yeah, so. Um, so, yeah, what's up, everybody? Uh, Owen, what's up, man? Says, enjoy watching your videos. Thank you so much, man. Um, smash that like button. Thank you, Rocker. Yeah, I hope you guys are uh, having fun. So we got a lot to do today. We got a lot to do and, and not a lot of time to do it, so we gotta we gotta get to it here. Appreciate everybody being here. Um, yeah, Colton, I know three years, man. It feels like forever. I know, man. Trust me, it it really does. And I can't believe you guys, uh, you know, some of you guys have been around forever. <laughs> it just, you know, as long as my videos keep entertaining you or at least make you smile, that's the least I could do, you know. And I try to put out once a week. I do. 
Um, there's a lot of times where, you know, with me working overnights, I'm sleeping all day and like it becomes five, six o'clock and I'm like, oh, I forgot to put out a community post about, you know, early access for members to, for the next day or whatever, you know, and, and just like, and I'm literally, I sit here and kick myself and Ray and Amanda will tell you, I, I literally kick myself over this one. I forget to post about it. Like I really do. Um, I feel guilty. I feel bad. I hate like not giving you guys content and that's why i tried to go live with the flooding just to give you guys something to watch um you know talking chatting all that good stuff uh live with the post flooding standing where the water was you know and just give you an idea of how deep that water was when i was standing over it so yeah we have a lot to get to today um someone someone has been extremely busy sending me fan mail i have a ton of it here I literally, we're just going to go through it real quick here. There's a couple of things, uh, a couple envelopes. Uh, I'm not going to read all the letters and everything because most of them do repeat themselves on his. Uh, but I'm going to get everything together here real quick. There is a ton of fan mail from one certain individual. You guys know who. Um, I don't even have to say his name, but you guys, you guys know who it's from. So I got, <laughs> I got four packages here. No, one, two, three, yeah, four packages here. And then I have a ton of letters and things like that. So there's a lot here. Uh, and it's all from one one individual. Yes, you guys know who it's from. Um, Mr. Plush Bat Fan. Although this one, I, this one is not from Plush Bat Fan. So we'll save that one till the end. That's, that's from somebody named Art who is in Laredo, Texas. So I hope I said that right. Laredo, Laredo. Uh, so there is one that is not him. Um, that is not Plush Bat Fan, our friend Plush Bat Fan. So yeah, guys. Uh, so if you guys ever want to send fan mail, it is, uh, it's in the description of most of the videos. I haven't been updating those descriptions. I've been bad. So let's see if Nightbot's here. Um, should be here. So Hey, what's up, Neo? <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. There you go. There's the P.O. box, guys. If you guys want to send any fan mail yourself, you can do that there. Uh, we still have the, the, the individual commands, too. I was looking through Nightbot. I was cleaning it up. I got rid of all the gambling ones. Uh, like Kirby's is in there. Neo's in there. Um, you know, there's a couple of different people that have uh, their, their, their commands in there. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll save this one from Art. In, uh, in Laredo, Texas. We'll save that one for uh, for last. So starting off with, we have a bunch of postcards. Uh, it's the Lion King, says, from our friends at Dream Pig Productions. So there's that one. Put that with the other notes over there. I got to go put in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, um, the tote that I have. Another Lion King uh, postcard there. It says, here's the secondary Lion King postcard for yours to keep as a souvenir. Thank you so much, Plush Bat Fan. Here's another Lion King uh, postcard says here's a rare vintage Lion King postcard for yours to keep as a souvenir. Thank you so much. And it's funny, they're all dated like a week apart from each other. Uh, here's a happy Easter. So I'm a little late on that one. I apologize. Uh, it says happy Easter from Plush Bat Fan. Thank you so much. Uh, then there's this one from the Lion King, which looks like it was something on the middle of it there that got torn off. Uh, here's the third Lion King postcard. Well, they're not in order, so... <laughs> Uh, I apologize for that. And then here's one for another one that is Mufasa. You know, when he's in the, he's, he's talking to Simba from the afterlife or whatever. Uh, here's a postcard regarding Mufasa in heaven speaking to Simba. Have a wonderful spring season. Thank you so much, Plush Bat Fan, for those. Uh, so, yeah, those, there was like the, March 8th, March 12th, March 16th, March 18th. So he sent them all different days. And uh, it was fun getting those out of the PO box, especially the um, the big uh, the big packages, because the PO box, the post office loves to just go shove it into this tiny little box. So, uh, what's up, Matt Pool? How you doing, Dillrod? How you doing, man? Uh, yeah, you guys are freaking awesome. Uh, here's a little note that was in that that little envelope. It says greetings. Unfortunately, we were very unhappy regarding the rising gas prices over the past couple months. Tell me about it. My fill up every other day for Uber used to be about 30, 35 bucks. Now it's 50 bucks to fill up my car. Um, but on the bright side, 
with the warmer weather, I don't have to use the defroster as much, so the engine isn't working as hard, so I'm actually getting better miles per gallon right now than I do in the winter months. Go figure. Um, so yeah, he breaks it down about his uh, gas prices here. Dude is paying a lot for gas. Five sixty-four a gallon. Wow, it is three eighty-nine a gallon here where I live. Um, I went to Ohio the other day, and it was two ninety-three or whatever, or two ninety-eight. It was under three dollars a gallon. I'm like, Pennsylvania, get your shit together. Um, all right, here's the first package from uh, Plush Bat Fan. Here, we'll open this one up as soon as I can figure out where the hell it's at. We're just gonna cut along the tape here the tape here right Let's see if that works did I go deep enough now I did went right through it um hey Mandy what's up yeah haircut yeah guys I got my haircut today uh woke up a little earlier to get that done it was getting dude it was literally it was that long on the sides of my head it was it was long <laughs> I look like um like a weird like Einstein it was freaking like I had my hair up here and then everything else around it was like sticking up like straight up I look like a weird like Einstein or something um all right so this is a Hello Kitty uh well I guess there was a watch on here that he took off because on the back of it it has like a watch things and how to work the watch but there's no watch I I, I what am I gonna do with that I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. What am I gonna do with that? I mean, you know, it, oh my god, he taped the letter in the in, in the envelope. Why? Why would you tape? Why is there tape on the letter in the envelope? Why would you do that? Don't do that. Because you're gonna make me rip the letter. It's it's perfectly fine in the envelope. It's not going anywhere. You don't have to you don't have to tape it in there. I promise. Um, Inside this package is additional Hello Kitty tags for years to keep as souvenirs. Well, I mean, this isn't really a tag. This is a cardboard thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Hello Kitty watches and gas prices are uh, our Dream Big Productions' new thing, apparently. Um, he's obsessed with them. <laughs> so, what's up, Stacy? How you doing? So, yeah, guys, we're going to go through his stuff, like I said, real quick. It's always, you know... I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but it's always the gas prices or the Hello Kitty watches and stuff like that. Um, you know, it is very unique stuff. It's very interesting. And like I said, I have a tote full of all of everything that he's ever sent and everyone else has ever sent. So this one's a little bit different. What the hell is this? Oh, he taped it to it. There's nothing else in here. Now, I throw the envelopes away, okay? So the packages themselves get thrown away. But... I do keep like the letters and the trinkets and everything that's inside. I have I have two totes full of fan mail. Um, so this is a creative activity book. A little hard to see against the green screen there, but a Leapfrog creative activity book. Uh, it says inside this package is a rare Leapfrog coloring book for yours to keep. I don't know if it's rare, but you know, you know somebody went to town on it. All kinds of all kinds of stamps and stuff on there and coloring. So somebody already colored it in. What am I supposed to do with that? So, if it's already colored, isn't I mean, isn't that what I'm supposed to do with it? What's up, Exotic Rich? What's up, Stacy? How you doing? Uh, he does it to make you do this. I know. All right, Metpool, have a good night, man. Uh, thanks for dropping by, saying hi. Make sure you hit that like on your way out, Metpool. Yeah. See, sometimes I can open these, and sometimes these packages are just so like. Got to use my knife, you know. All my knives from Carnival Games that I've had over the years. No coloring for you. <laughs> oh my God, what is it? it? Looks like a bunch of stickers in here. Hold on. All right, let me get this sorted here. I want to make sure everything is out of here before I throw the package away. And again, he taped the letter inside the the package. Don't do that. The package isn't going away. I promise. The package is not going anywhere. Uh, or I mean the letter inside the package. It's not going anywhere. I promise you. You can't, you can't, because I'm going to rip it. I'm going to rip the letter. And it's like, why? Why is it taped? Why is it taped inside the package? Don't do that. That's the biggest thing. Don't, don't do that. 
like because now I gotta I gotta fumble with the tape here and fold it down on the sides so it doesn't stick to anything else in the fan mail tote. Um, inside this package is Hello Kitty tags for yours to keep as souvenirs. Well, we got a bunch of like sales tags and stuff, like things that were attached to Hello Kitty merchandise. So there's a bunch of them there. Uh, put that over here on the pile of, you know, with the letter over there. And then the last one from Plush Bat Fan. I think this one is something that he sent before. Not, not the same thing, but like he has a subscription to a, a magazine. I think it's about the financial stuff. I love reading these magazines, by the way. I do. If this is what I think it is, then it's a cool one. Um, nope, it's not the one I thought it was. I mean, it was a magazine, but it's not the one I thought it was. When he sends the the financial ones, he has like a subscription to the financial stuff. Um, I love reading those ones. There's no letter in this one. At least I can see a letter. Did I miss it? No, there's no letter in there. Okay. Um, and I mean, dude, he spends a fortune on, on shipping. Like, dude, you don't have to do all this. Like, he spends so much money sending me this stuff. Like, you don't have to send me... The oh, there it is. The letter. The letter's on the back. Or the note, I mean. Uh, keep the most recent home magazine for your souvenir. <laughs> Elite Home Magazine. I have no idea. Does anyone know what Elite Home Magazine is? Is that like one of those things where like, I mean, I don't have, I mean, I have a home. I mean, I have an apartment. I don't have like a home, you know, where I need to worry about, you know, basement flooding or replacing windows or that kind of stuff. So yeah, like roofing. Yeah. See, like this is all about your lawns and roofing and stuff. I, that doesn't apply to me because I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't have that kind of uh place that i live in so i appreciate it but oh my god that kirby that would be funny as hell if that ever happened i mean i would probably throw that away you know on sanitary conditions and reasons but it's uh that would be a funny prank if somebody was to do that so all right so we have one guys that's not from plush bat fan this one is from art it says art jr in Laredo, Texas. So whoever whoever your username is, I apologize. It's uh, it doesn't say, um, you know, it doesn't have your username. So I, I apologize. Um, EGRK, calm down, man. I I got you, dude. You know, relax. Um, all right, let's see what we got in here. This looks like pretty something pretty cool. Oh, hello. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to, um, so, like, <laughs> this is interesting. All right, let's see what the letter says first, and I'll show you guys what else is in there. Um, I hope you are doing great. Hi, JJ General One. I hope you're doing great. Firstly, before I ask you a few questions, I would like to let you know that I enjoy both your arcade and slots channel. I have a few questions I want to ask since this is my first fan mail ever sent to someone. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad I was, you know, your first fan mail. That's that's pretty cool. Um, how do you record at the casino since some won't let you record? So the casino thing, um, I have some friends in the YouTube industry. Uh, the biggest one being the Big Payback. Um, his name is Tim. Um, I've been talking to him for years. I've also been talking to Brian Christopher for years. If you guys knew who Brian Christopher Slots is, one of the biggest YouTube channels. I was subscriber number 42 to his channel when he first launched that channel. Um, we used to email back and forth all the time. I actually have his personal number. We talk occasionally when he's not busy, which is very rare. Um, and he, they have given me insight on how to approach uh, management contacting the right people at the casino uh, to film. Now, in the case of, like, with my buddy, the big payback, Tim, um, Jack Thistledown Racino is an hour and a half from me. It's in Ohio. And through him, I was able to speak to the management, tell them what I do, too, the types of videos I do where I don't film, you know, other people. I just film the game in excuse me, game in front of me. I got the hiccups. A um, little bit of indigestion going on with the lunch I had. Um... I tell them, look, I filmed just the game, and it's just for entertainment purposes. There's no, like, hey, guys, do this to, to hack the machine or do this to cheat or anything. You know, I don't do that on my arcade or my casino stuff. Um, treat the games respectfully. Treat other patrons respectfully. Treat, you know, the, the workers respectfully. Don't film other workers. Um, 
you know, all that crazy stuff. I go over that with all of them and I say, if you guys want to, you know, before you give me permission to film or not, if you want to see what I do, here's a link to my channel. Here are some of my videos. Please take a look and then get back to me. Um, so what I do is I, I coordinate with the management at the casino, you know, the, 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 um, the, the, uh, the resources department that, that handles, you know, customers and things like that. And then I get it escalated up to sometimes owners, believe it or not. And what you do is you just, you know, very cordially, you talk to them, you ask them, hey, you know, I, I know the laws in this state. I know what I can and can't do for, you know, recording stuff. Like, don't record workers. That's like the biggest thing. Don't record workers. Don't record the insides of games. Like, if they have to open it up for whatever reason, don't record any of that. Um, and just, you know, don't be obnoxious is a big thing. You know, a lot of people, there's a lot of slot YouTubers that got themselves banned from casinos by being obnoxious, by filming stuff they're not supposed to film, um, causing disruptions and issues for other patrons of the casino. And that is, that's a, that's a one way ticket to, to see a latersville, you know? So, um, I, again, just just be courteous, be nice, you know. And if somebody, you know, I, I had somebody. I was literally there the other day. I was playing my free play on Friday, when I was in Ohio. I had one hundred and fifty dollars in free play. Um, I got two videos out of it, and unfortunately, the money went so fast. But um, I got two videos out of it, and uh, while I was recording, I had one lady come up to me, and she goes, hey, you know, I see you're recording. She goes, do you have a YouTube channel? I said, yes, I do. And she goes, oh, well, I know uh, uh, Tim that comes here and records all the time. I said, oh, yeah, my buddy, the big payback. She goes, yeah, you know him. I'm like, absolutely. I'm like, I love Tim. He's a great dude. So we had a little, like, 10-minute conversation. And she goes, well, what's your channel name and everything? And I said, oh, hang on. So what I do, and this is where, this is where the, uh, the, the crap wristbands go. And I, I mean, I don't want to say that like mean or anything, but I have to get ready somehow. So the people that ask about the slot stuff, I just give them one of the wristbands and say, yeah, that's my channel name. I said, I have two channels. I have an arcade and I have a slots one. I said, and uh, you can check it out there and you know, just see that name. Because you know, obviously JJ General 1 is hard for people to remember, but give them a wristband and they remember it like that. And a lot of people love it because it's like a little trinket or something that you know, catches their interest. Hey, this dude gave me a wristband. That's cool. And then they look at the, the slogan on the back, you know, the stay safe, take care of each other, always have a positive mental attitude. And they're like, that's an awesome way to live. We love it. Um, so just, you know, be smi you know, smile, be polite and everything. And, uh, you know, just have a conversation. And like I said, I've been recognized over there a few times. In fact, in fact I was recording one time and the dude thought I was Tim. <laughs> He thought I was the big payback, and I said, oh, no, no, no. He, he comes up to me. He goes, hey, I know you. You film with Albert's slot channel. And I'm like, oh, no, no. I'm like, no, that's not me. I was like, I, I, I appreciate you you thinking it is. I said, but no, that's that's Tim. I said, he comes here. He's a regular here. I said, he's a little bit older than me. He's got gray hair. Uh, I said, that that's that's Tim. I said, I, I just come here, have fun, too, and but I, I'm friends with him. And he's like, oh, okay. And then, again, asked about the channel and everything, so... Uh, but it was it was really really freaking cool. Um, so yeah, those those type of things, you know, it's you just got to be cool about it, you know. Um, and you know, like I said, don't bring in like lights and big production stuff. And like the biggest thing that I take in with me at the at the casino is the tripod, uh, because it's a lot easier to have the tripod sitting on the floor and holding the camera steady than me trying to hold it like like this you know i'm charging my phone right now that's why it's plugged in uh me holding it like this with just my hand and it's shaking everywhere like this or if i have you know i have that grip thing that goes underneath where i hold it like that um sometimes that shakes too because it does get heavy when your hand gets tired it starts going like this and it gets you know you get you get tired and that's why I use the tripod, and they have no issues with that because I keep the legs compact. I don't put the put the legs out. I keep them in, and I just kind of hang on to it, and I'm filming, and then I just have the little adjustment that I can tilt the camera up and down depending if we have to look at the top of the screen or not. Uh, they know what my equipment is. They know, you know, what I'm filming with. They know that I, you know, I just use my phone, honestly. I just have my phone. Um... I record in 4K, and that's why I got a second phone. So I have two phones. I have a, my personal iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I have an iPhone 15 Pro 
that I got um, basically for free by trading in an older iPhone. And I just record on that because that one has all the storage. My personal one doesn't have as much storage, and it made it a lot harder to film videos. So everything I record on this one, you know, I can record like 50 videos, 50 20-minute videos on this, um, 20 to 25-minute videos. So that takes up the storage there. So if I'm, you know, if I'm somewhere where I'm going to be at the arcade and the casino at the same time, I can do videos and then I separate them out and edit them and this and that. So, um, so yeah, that's that's the big thing with the casino stuff. So to answer your first question, there, um, you just have to you have to know the laws of the state. Like Pennsylvania, supposedly now, when Brian Christopher came here at the one local casino for their opening, he was allowed to film. I have never had an issue there filming, like, shorts. Like, if I just hold my phone up real quick and, like, hey, guys, I'm in a bonus, blah, blah, blah. What happens real quick? And then that's it. They've never bothered me for that. Um, again, just don't film other people. Don't film inside of games. Don't film, you know, slot attendants, things like that. Security. <laughs> um, but, like, know your state's laws, too, because some states don't even allow you to record. Supposedly, that's the law in Pennsylvania now, which is why I can't record anywhere in Pennsylvania. I've looked into it. Yes and no. I think it's up to the casino's discretion. Um, second question you have is, what would you recommend to start a channel like yours? Well, the question is, what channel are you asking about? The arcade one or the, the casino one? Because there are two of them. Um, the casino one, I just kind of, you know, I migrated that stuff from this channel over to there because I wanted to separate it from the arcade stuff. Um, I've always loved arcades. I've been playing them since I was five years old. I'm 40 years old now, so 35 years in the arcades, which is why I'm so good at the games and stuff. Um, you know, I just, I, I, I practice. A lot of practice and a lot of money spent. Trust me, a lot of money spent. It's expensive to play arcade games on camera. Um, but my biggest suggestion is find something you enjoy doing, that you love doing, and just record it. Maybe you like, you know, woodworking stuff. Maybe you like building stuff from scratch, you know, you know, show people how to cut down the wood and put this together and screw this together and use these type of screws or this type of glue or this, you know, whatever. Um, hey, use this type of sealant because it's the best one to keep the wood long lasting and you know, uh, or, or maybe you enjoy like building RC cars or something, or maybe you enjoy droning, you know, flying your drone around. Just make sure you have all your clearances and stuff uh, and do, you know, all that stuff. Um, you know, find whatever hobby you enjoy a lot. Like arcades were a hobby for me for the longest time. Just, just something to go do and have fun until I met Arcade Matt. And then Matt said, hey, dude, you're really good at arcade games. Why don't you film yourself and put it out there? And I said, nah, nobody's going to want to watch this guy do it, right? Like, I have no personality and this and that. Like, not like Matt, you know. But, um, you know, we've built a community, and, you know, it's, it's a nice community. And actually, it keeps growing about 100 subscribers, 100 new subscribers every month. So I love to have everybody here and all the new people that, that come in and watch everything and, and join us. So it's very much appreciated. We'd like to keep that community growing. We'd like to keep it positive, and we'd like to keep it friendly. So... But, uh, yeah, just, um, you know, find something you enjoy doing. You know, it could be building computers for all, all you know, for all you know. Um, it could be, you know, tasting foods, you know, giving your opinions on foods. Um, you know, it, literally anything can be filmed and put up there and grow an audience because there's always someone out there that's going to watch everything. There's people that watch anything, and then there's people that are into that niche, that niche, however you say it, uh, directly. So, yeah, just, you know, whatever. If you like filming weather, go out and film weather. Film nature. Film film waterfalls. Film the rivers. Hey, uh, 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 what's it called whenever you document dams and stuff along the rivers and history of dams and... You know, how long, why, why were the dams built along the rivers and, and everything like that? You know, hey, what's what's so special about this dam? Why was it built here? You know, what was the purpose of it being built in this place or something? You know, so there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. Maybe maybe you like trains. Maybe you like planes. Maybe you like boats. Um, so whatever, whatever interests you, start a 
start just a channel on it. And the biggest thing is, you know, don't be afraid to talk to the camera. That's the biggest thing. A lot of people, it's a lot harder to talk in front of an audience of people than it is to talk to a camera. Like right now, I know you guys are all watching. I know you're all back there, you know, behind the camera, if you will. But to me, it's just a camera. It's a lot easier to talk to a camera than it is to like an audience full of people, like a, on a stage or something. I get stage fright. I, I get nervous talking in front of people. If I have to give a speech or anything like that, I'll do it. But that doesn't mean that I'm not nervous. And that doesn't mean that I'm not like worried that something's going to go wrong or whatever. <laughs> um, there you go, Neo. Um, so what's up, Brandon? E? Hey, guys. JC, what's up? Uh, yeah, guys, I'll get to the chat in a minute here. I promise. Um, you know, try. What's up, Exotic Rich? Everybody. So I apologize, uh, George, what's happening? So what a storm we had last night. Yeah, it was crazy last night. Uh, let me finish this letter. It says, hope to see a response from you and keep up the videos and those wins on Claw Crazy, this epic wins on Claw Crazy 2. You insert an extra word there. Uh, P.S. Can you sign like an autograph on the little card where it says scratch for code on the back? Just for keepsakes for talking to an epic person. Thank you and take care. Uh, I wish I knew who you were. Um... You didn't put your name on here or, like, uh, your, your username. So I have no idea who this is. Uh, but thank you. Awesome letter. Uh, yes, I will actually uh, do that for you. And I will, um, what I'm going to do is I will sign that and I will include some business cards for it, too. And maybe some stickers in there for you. Uh, so I will, he sent a claw crazy, like, scratch for a code thing. So... That's why I saw that. I was like, ooh, scratch for a code. But they want me to send it to them. So I got to remember to save the envelope here. I got to put it aside. I'm going to put it right here in front of me. So that way I remember I got to look at that and go, hey, you have to send this out. So thank you so much for that freaking awesome uh, letter. And I'm, I'm very honored to be the first fan mail you've ever sent. Um, and I very much appreciate that you sent it. Thank you. And that's, that's the kind of stuff I love right there, guys. I love the letters and things like that. I love bringing smiles to people and all that good stuff. Um, that's why I do the Arcade Santa thing. And you never know when I'm going to give away tickets at the arcade, man. So if you ever see me, you might get something off me. Um, I do it all the time. All the time. And, uh, you know, Patty, who was Carl's, who's Carl's sister. Well, you know, guys remember Carl, who unfortunately passed away recently the owner of your aces arcade uh his sister patty is you know running everything now um she did pretty much before too carl just oversaw it uh you know he kind of took a step back a while ago but you know was still the owner and uh you know she loves it whenever you know i give away tickets and stuff because you know a it makes people happy b it gives them a positive experience of that place and it's more likely that they'll be a return customer then you know, to help that business. So, um, what's up, Rue? How you doing? Long time no see. Hope you're doing good there. Uh, EG says, I got to go be right back soon. All right, EG Arcade, take care, man. Freebird says, make sure you aren't posting illegal or copyright stuff. Well, that too. Uh, I mean, but the, the copyright system will flag you and, you know, it's, it's a little overly sensitive and that's fine. I mean, I've had parts of my videos, you know, uh, flagged out there and said, hey, this person uploaded a video that seems very similar to yours. Is it yours? And you have to review it and everything like that. So, And a lot of that happens with like the arcade stuff where you're showing a machine and like something similar happens to what someone else played. So <coughs> it does happen. Um, luckily, I've never been claimed by any other like arcade channel or gambling channel. So, uh, but moving on to the next point, guys, that was the fan mail. Let me take a sip of water here real quick. Again, appreciate everybody being here. If you can, hit that thumbs up button for me. It is Monday, April 15th. We're having a great time. So, um, I got some new wristbands in that I made sure this is like my third order of them. So the first one, they were horrible. Like the replacement ones. You know, the first ones I ordered were great. I gave those all away, and they were fantastic. So I'm like, cool, I'll order again. I ordered again, and they were like, ugh, I don't want to hand these out. Like, I don't want to sell these and stuff. 
Um, so they sent me a replacement, and the replacements were blah, too. And it was like, oh, God. And oh, it was just, it was like pulling teeth. And I'm like, look, guys, I'm like, I don't know what happened to your quality control, but something happened here. So I posted my wristband on Instagram, and I tagged their thing. It says, hashtag express what matters. And they gave me a gift card, a $100 gift card. Now, I'm pretty sure it had something to do with me complaining about the quality of the wristbands. Um, so I ordered a new batch, and I made sure in the comments to make sure that they, that they filled in the ink properly. Because as you guys saw with the words on the, on the, the orders, they were just faded. They were, they were hard to read and everything like that. So I got a new package of them. I got 150 of them with that $100, $100 gift card. So that was that was cool. So I got more than 100 I normally order. And these are it. And these actually look a lot better than the ones I got before. These words are actually legible. They're bold. And so they, they made up for it with this one. Uh, so I have 150 here. And these I'm going to be selling. Um, if you guys don't know, you know what what's about, it's basically just you know like the wristbands, like the cause wristbands, and uh, it's got my channel name. It says JJ General One with the YouTube logo, and then on the back of it, it says Stay safe, take care of each other, always have a positive mental attitude. The way that I end every video, both on this channel and the Gambles channel. Um, so I hand these out um, when I see you in the arcade. If you guys see me in the arcade, I always have a bag of them with me. So if you're local to me and you happen to see me in the arcade, you recognize me, come say hi and you can get one for free. But if you guys aren't able to get local here, um, I am going to be selling these. Now, the reason I'm selling them is because i got to cover shipping. You know, it's going to cost a lot to ship these out um, because they are a little, you know, the, the wristbands are like, you know, they'll go in an envelope, but it might make the envelope a little thicker. So I might have to put some extra postage on it. Uh, so what it is, I've calculated out, it's going to be five bucks for a wristband. Or you can get three of them for 10 bucks. And how you get these guys is it's in the description of the live right now. And I'm going to be putting a post up on the community tab for it too. Um, you can either PayPal or Venmo me and make sure that you send me your information so I can ship it out to you. Um, I want to be able to get these to you, obviously. So uh, that's going to have the wristband and it's going to have stickers. So you guys are going to get stickers with the wristbands. I may run out of stickers quickly. So I may have to reorder those as well, but um, yeah, so it's five bucks and that is, that's the price shipped. That is shipped to you. So there's no extra cost for shipping or anything. That five bucks includes the shipping uh, or 10 bucks if you order three of them. So we'll, uh, we'll get those out to you guys. But like I said, these ones are actually really good. The words are really vibrant on them compared to the other ones that I ordered that I don't know what happened to our quality control. So I have a huge bag of them here, 150 of them, and that is how you guys can get yourself a wristband. Uh, like I said, it's in the description. There's PayPal and Venmo. Um, you can send it over to me. The links are in the description there. Like I said, it's five bucks for one. And like I said, it's going to be a wristband and some stickers and probably going to throw a business card or two in there too. And then, um, or three of them for 10 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. And I think it's fair. Uh, like I said, it helps cover the cost of shipping and everything. And I'm going to set those over here. And we got a couple things. We got Freebird with a $20 donation. Thank you so much. Says, hey, I have to go back to work. See you later. All right. Thank you, Freebird, for donation and stopping by. Uh, very much appreciate it. Pixie Heart, welcome to the membership again here over here on JJ General Arcades. Very good to see you, Pixie Heart. Hope you're doing great. Love to see you guys. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, the wristband thing. And like I said, I've been wearing one since October of 22. I, this thing's been through the shower, okay, countless times. You know, shower pretty much every day. Unless I don't do anything. Like if I sit here in my underwear all day, I, I, you know, I'll shower the next day. Uh, but you can see, it says JJ Dare One. Look how vibrant it is still. Stay safe, take care of each other, always have a positive mental attitude. And like I said, this thing has been through swimming pools, showers, in the sun, outdoors, dirt, mud. And you can see how it looks. So the, the quality was good on the first one, 
the second ones were eh, but the new set looks just like these ones, like the ones that I originally ordered. So I'm hoping that the quality stays up on there like they did. So, um, yeah, it's coming from a company that I putting a lot of trust in. So, yeah. <laughs> Neo, member for 18 months, says, hey, look, I'm legal. <laughs> oh, Neo, you're funny. I love you, girl. Yeah, you guys are amazing. So, yeah, if you guys, like I said, if you want a wristband, like I said, it's in the description below the video here. And I will put a community post up and I will put it on my Instagram and everything. So, if you don't want to do it now during the live stream, that's fine. There is, um, you know, there's other ways that you can, you'll see it and contact me and everything. Like I said, make sure you send me um, your information on PayPal. You know, when you send it, if it's like if you send PayPal, send your shipping information to me. Um, or if you send it on Venmo, you can just put it in the chat there and say, hey, ship to this address. Um, and I will get it out to you. So, all right. Um, that is done. <laughs> Let's chat a little bit. Yeah, we had some thunderstorms last night. I would have gone live, guys, if I wasn't driving Uber and it was Uber was very plentiful. Uh, we're supposed to get storms again Wednesday night. We'll see. That's like a chance for storms. I don't know what the what the percentage is. I don't know if it's going to be as good as like last night was. But a lot of storms weren't, weren't really where I was at. There was one that was where the where I was at at the airport on Uber. But a lot of it was way off in the distance and not really, you know, I drove through like two storms last night total. Um, hail? We didn't get, see, we didn't get hail at the airport, George. That's weird. But I know just south of the airport, there was a storm that went just south of the airport along the Allegheny County, Washington County border, um, down through like Midway and, and stuff like that. I cannot believe that that was not tornadic warned because I was watching that on the radar. I was watching the velocities with the winds and that sucker had some serious rotation in it. And I have no idea how that was a tornadic warned. I was honestly really surprised. I was looking at the debris signature. I was looking at the hail signature. Um, you know, it had one inch and greater hail. Um, and it was just, crazy like I, I'm, I'm watching it and you know i don't know if you guys some of you guys that are familiar with the radar and how to read it for weather um in the, in the velocity scale that's the wind you know there's red and there's green the the green is moving towards the radar and the red is moving away from the radar when you get red inside of the green especially in a circle that's rotation in a storm the storm is rotating and if it gets really prominent like really tight, real prominent, that can be a tornado. And that's usually how they determine a tornado warning is from that rotation. And there was some serious red in that green. Like there was like a strip of red, like that long inside the green. So that whole stretch was rotating. Um, and I mean, it was very dark. So that's very prominent reverse winds from the, from the radar. And I was I was really surprised that didn't get tornadic warned. Like I I'm I'm honestly flabbergasted. I wouldn't be surprised if they come back and the National Weather Service says, oh yeah, the wind damage down here was a tornado, like an EF zero or EF one or something. Obviously, we can't call it because we don't know the scale personally, unless you're one of the National Weather Service uh, observers out there, um, and can can rank it, you know, professionally. So that's the other thing too, guys. If you ever hear about a tornado and you're watching like somebody live on YouTube, don't rank tornadoes. You're not supposed to do that because you put people into a tizzy. Because um, you may say, oh, it's only an EF1 looking tornado and it may be producing 200 plus mile per hour winds and be like an EF4. So yeah, don't, don't ever rank tornadoes without the National Weather Service doing it. So um nate says tons of hail up near me and slip yeah slippery rock get, got hit hard north of butler and south of grove city got hit that, that stretch there nate you guys got got hammered there man and i wasn't too far north of you there nate i was up in meadville for the for the solar eclipse so yeah that was pretty cool um yeah pixie are doing good what's up arcade princess how you doing all right so 
a little bit of talk about the weather. Um, you can see what the weather is now if you just do the weather command. I'll do it and see what happens. Uh, it is currently, what, 70 something? 72, 73? Now it's Nightbot not going to work. Oh, there it is. Uh, 70, okay. I got into a fight with a news guy the other night whenever those barges broke loose. He was flying his drone in sustained winds of 35 miles per hour. Sustained. At a dam where it's already windy along the river as is. So the winds along the river were like 40 to 45 miles an hour, and he's flying his drone in it. And he goes, I'm a professional photographer. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. I, I know the manufacturer specs, and there are none out there, even commercial drones, that are, are, are rated to fly in, in 40, 40 mile an hour greater winds. Seriously. I'm afraid to fly my drone in anything over like 15 miles an hour. Because I'm precautious. Just... I mean, he's like, I know what I'm doing. I'm like, apparently you don't. Not to mention, I know he was above the limit there because that's not far from the airport. It's only a couple miles from the from Pittsburgh International Airport where that dam is, and you're limited to 150 feet. Dude was definitely three, 400 feet up. Easily. So I know he was flying against all FAA regulations and everything, but he's a professional photographer for a local news channel. Guess what, dude? You don't know what you're doing. Um, all right, so let's move on, guys. Let's see what happens here. I don't know if that works, Neo. Nah, see, it's just set for Cranberry. It's not set. I got to get PA Scratcher guy to help me out with that. I, I don't know how to set it for the... For the um, I don't know how to change that command to do the zip code thing. I wish I knew, but it just has it set for here. Uh-oh. Oh. You guys want a huge token bonus on Claw Crazy? There's a text that just got released, 110% code, probably because I'm streaming it. Um, so speaking of Claw Crazy, that was a great transition there. Thanks, Trevor. Uh, if you're watching... <laughs> so thanks Trevor. Uh yeah, 110% more tokens with the code winbig110. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys want to get tokens, you just click that little button there, you come down here, you type win big 110 and everything will be a 2.1x. Uh, now, I've been doing the math here. Um, just to give you guys an idea, two of these 2499s, it's a penny cheaper than this one, first off, and you get more tokens. Let me do the math for you. So 851 divided by $25 is 34 tokens per dollar at this package, okay? 34.04. $16.91 divided by $50 is 33.82 tokens per, to per dollar for this one. So you're getting a better deal buying this package twice than you're getting this package here. Because also look at it, 851 times two, so twenty-five dollars to fifty dollars, eight fifty-one should be seventeen hundred and two tokens. So it's sixteen ninety-one, it should be seventeen oh two. Always check the math, guys. Make sure you're getting your best deal um, for your, your chips and tokens and stuff wherever you play. Um, so yeah, I got some tokens here, guys. I've been saving up and uh, there's some new stuff that you can do now to get uh, free tokens and stuff. I'll let Trevor explain it to you on the app if you want to go check it out. Uh, there are things in the app that you can watch, like 
participate in things and get your get your tokens for free. So, all right, so we got our games here. He's got a couple of new games here as well since the last time we played. Um, I wonder what's in the twenty four hour one. Oh, three thousand tickets. Eh, it's okay. Looks like he got rid of Bloom Buster. He's got Pixel Mania now. Uh, pick your prize. <laughs> Still have Gravity Test Facility. We got uh, Ball Abduction was a new one last time we played. Color Carnival still there. Um, Extreme Cupo Pong. Keymaster still there. I know, Neo, I know. It's a good deal. Uh, the 110% right now is freaking amazing. So, um, Ski Ball over to Rainbow Swinger. Let's see what Donut Falls at. Oh, 33. I thought it was 10,000 tickets. Oh, man. So it's only 3,333. Oh, must be getting close. Yep. Getting close. Let's see if, who's in the queue. I'm one in the queue. Let's see. It's going to take a few plays still, but that's going to come off of there really easily. Let's see what they do here. No, that's not the way to do it right there. So whoever whoever's playing that, you're you're not doing it the right way there. <laughs> Kirby says, "I really Kirby." All right, so it's our turn to play. So what you kind of want to do, guys, you kind of want to well, that went way over. But remember, the bend of the elbow is where the arm goes out to. So what you want to do is you kind of want to spin the donut. You want to you want to tag the donut and spin it like that. It makes it like swing out on the post. Um, it's going to take a few plays here, but you'll see what I'm doing here. You'll you'll see here, guys. Yeah, we'll try the front this time. Oh no! Oh, it froze up on me. I don't know why I did that. Well, that's a good spin. Okay. So see, it's working it out just a little bit each time, and I mean that post is like right here, so it's got a little bit to work out, but it, it will eventually do it. Let's do the back again. Oh, is it? Damn it. I went too far. Ugh. Why is that like lagging like that? Shouldn't be doing that. Uh, Brad, if you have it, you can. Just make sure you send me your information on uh, Discord there to uh, send it out to you. So, so you want to stab the donut and spin it like that. See, look, see how it moved it out a little bit. See how it moved it out a little bit more. So that's basically what you want to do with this one. You want to uh, you want to spin it. Basically, you want to stab it and yeah, I don't know what's going on with the cams here. Whoop. Well, eh, that's okay. That'll work. Yeah, see how it's working it out as it as it spins like that. See how that post is getting a little bit further back in the donut there. Try a couple more. We'll see what happens here. I think I'm going too far over though. That's the thing. Ah, I went too far back. Ah, that's not what you want to do. Well, okay, maybe maybe that's what you want to do. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, we'll leave that for someone else. <laughs> What's up, Falcon? It says cams on that game. Have so eh. I know. I, I don't understand. It's like Keymaster's doing it. Um, this UFO one. I don't know what it is. That, that they're they're like lagging a little bit every now and then. Let's see what Over to Rainbow's at. See if it has anything in it. Ah, see, that's a fresh, fresh, clean, clean play there. Um, Let's see Swinger. See if anything's ready on Swinger here. I've been having so much trouble on this one to freaking win lately. So I use my keyboard. I'm going to try this orange and yellow one here. See, because I can time stuff better with my keyboard than I can with... Um... See, I can make the claw stop swinging. Uh, not the one I was going for. Well... Okay, so I see it throws it like like this angle. So I want to kind of aim for that. So basically that yellow one, the yellow and orange one I was going for. Excuse me. Allergies, guys. Uh, springtime is here. Let me tell you. Supposedly ticks are out too already. Uh, yep. 
Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, man, that's like the spot you need to be at, too. All right, we're going to try one more because there's an orange and blue one over here, too. Well, there was. All right, let's try this yellow and orange one right here. Let's see if we can get this one. Ah, uh, that's all right. Uh, no, how did I, mm, how did I miss that, man? All right, we still have another one in the position there, the pink and green one now. And it's funny, guys, all these balls came from claws. If you remember the claws game, where you had to pull the ball with the string on it off the thing. Okay, well. Oh! Ah, uh, I felt weird. Right, do we have another one in that spot? Yeah, we could do the pink and green one there. Let's see. The only problem is now I'm going to be near the shoot. I don't want to. I don't want to catch the shoot. So, good. Oh man, I stabbed the other one. Damn it. <laughs> Brad, I need you to stop breaking games, sir. Need you to start treating Garcia games with respect. Okay, okay, and oh, oh, it hit off the front of it. Oh, it was right there, man. It was right there. It was right freaking there. No, because you don't get anything then, Brad. You just break the game and, and piss off Trevor. I'm not going to swing it till the claw comes off. That's 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 called game breaking, and you don't do that. Oh, that was a weird drop. That one just kind of like fell. <laughs> well, we'll try the purple and yellow, but I don't think it's in a great spot. It's got to be like back just a little bit further, you know, this way. We're going to try it and see. Uh, nope. Ah, man. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else there now worth grabbing. So I think it kind of cleared out the area that you got to aim for. I got to blow my nose. Hang on. Give me a second. All right. I'm glad I can mute my mic that way. I have a little button like right here that I can do. Um, what's up, Fantastic Wit? How you doing? Hang on, I gotta reply to somebody on Discord. Yeah, video latency is really causing an issue on that uh, donut game. I don't know why. So, uh, try to stick a prong into the window. That doesn't work, infectious bread. You could try, but it doesn't work. Um, you just waste your play. I wonder if Keymaster's ready. Let's see. 12,000 tickets, huh? Or we get a George Foreman Electric Indoor Grill. We get a Lego Creator Peacock set. Battleship board game. Pom Pom Purin 3-inch ceramic planner. Or a Sailor Moon Wands 20-ounce cup. We're going to go for 12,000 tickets. Let's see Let's see if any of these are missing. Hmm. Let's give it a shot see what happens. I know it's a little pricey, a little, little bit more ticket cost or token cost should i say i didn't go far enough to the right well maybe i did let's see i don't know if that was me or not i don't know if that deviated or not or if i let go too late oh there you go wit are you still uh are you still in uh, tennessee or are you back down texas There we go. You got to be like in between the two and that 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 black, uh, the key symbol there. Ah, oh, see, I don't know if I let go too late before. See, I can't tell. Ah, oh. oh. That should be good enough. Yeah, it's far enough over. No, that DV. Okay, that DV. It's not ready yet. 
Yeah, unfortunately, guys, uh, he does have to have the payout on there because of the bigger prizes and everything. Uh, it's not many plays, but who knows how long it's going to take to to be ready. So, hang on, just get rid of some spam emails here. ADT Security and Empire Today. Huh. I hate spam emails. Uh, yeah. Oh, you came back to Texas? Okay. Squeeze the blues. 25 tickets for three tokens. Let's see if we can get uh, one of the blues here to go in. I think you got to grab a blue. And again, I use my keyboard because... Oh, crap. I forgot the center. Hold on. I forgot the center of the mouse. See, I use I use the mouse as like a good indicator as to where it's going to grab on my screen. So we're going to go for this blue one right here. Okay, it was down just a little bit more. So it's like right there. Okay, so middle of the hole but bottom just a little bit that gets on my face i'm feeling like a hair or something on my face dummy there's a ton of them on your face i got the fan on here it is it is so warm in here guys i actually, I actually had to kick the ac on are you serious how did i miss that Yeah, but I want to win it. I want to win it for fun. All right, let's put the up that way. There, that should do it. There we go. There we go. There's a win. There we go. We got a win. Let's go. <laughs> I know, it's 25 tickets, guys. But, I mean, hey, you know what? It's something fun, you know? Let's see if Color Carnival has the purple one in it. Ooh, I don't know if it's gettable, though. That might not be in the gettable spot. So it drops it about right there. I know, I know from history... This camera needs replaced, I think. Oh, purple one should be gettable. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get this purple one now. Ooh, I had it pretty close to center there. I was, like, right on it. So where I put the mouse there, it's kind of like right next to that little white notch just below it on the outer ring of the hole. That is your center grab, like, right there. Now, now that I say that, Trevor's going to adjust the camera and screw it all up. Um, he's going to, like, tilt the camera just a little bit to throw it off. So the purple one, I think, is worth a 1,000 tickets, but I don't think it registers. I think you have to send them a email. Well, we missed completely. That was just horrible play is what that was. Oh, there you go. I would love to get down there and hang out with Sean, man. That would be really cool. And if you're there, Wit, that'd be even better. You know, we can go to some arcades and stuff. I don't know what's around there, but uh, I don't like where it's at. All right, I'm going to go down a little bit lower than normal on it because that prong. Oh, well, now it's, well, it might not be dead zoned yet. It's close, but it might not be dead zoned yet. We'll see, so. We'll find out here. Eh, it's a little far over there, but if you put the arrow like down just a little bit further than the center, that one arm swings out to the side over here. Watch. See how that one? Well, now it's completely dead zone. Ah, uh, crap. Um, but that one arm swung way out to the side this way, and you saw I was trying to bring it back over. And unfortunately, that was that was just bad play. That was bad play. I'm horrible at this. Mm. That one's going to take a while to fill unless you get a lucky bounce. Let's see. 5,200 tickets. Let's see if this one... Somebody must have just won it. So this one is interesting. you got to kind of like stab it and turn it. It's like you kind of need to like make the arm like slide along the back of the plush. And, like, you have to land it, like, just to the right of the, the tail. Like, kind of just to the right to where it slides off. And when it slides off, it's pushing the plush to the left side. If you get what I'm saying. Watch. I'll try to do it here. No guarantee I'm going to do it right, but. So, I'm going to try to do it. It's probably just going to. Yeah, see, it's stabbed. I had to go a little bit more to the right. It's got to slide down the side. It's. 
it's more of like um, it's not like a lifting claw. This this claw will not lift. I'm gonna try right there. Let's see if that does it. So you kind of want to get on the backside. Let's see. Yeah, kind of like that. See how it slid it to the left a little bit? It slid it to the to the to the left just a little bit. So you gotta you gotta work it like that. I don't know if I went far enough. Is it gonna stab it? Oh, it's sli oh, it almost slid. See, see how it's turning it. See how it's already turning it. So it's turning it towards the prize chute. And then once you get it over the prize chute, you just tip it in. You just stab it in. Yeah, I don't think I went far enough. I'm gonna just tap it here. I'm gonna try to do just the front here real quick. Uh, is it gonna go? What the? I broke it. Um. Well. I'm going to dispute that one because it didn't work. Well, I broke that game. Neo says I'm ready for a map. Just got nap. Just got to work two hours ago. Oh, Neo, I was out. Like I said, I was out of Jack Thistle down, and I hadn't eaten all day, so there was a a um, um, there was a Domino's not far from there in Twinsburg, Ohio. Oh my God, the worst Domino's I've ever had. Everything was burnt to freaking crisp, man. I got to file a complaint with that one. I'm I'm pissed off at that one. Like the crust was was black basically the cheese on top of the pizza was almost black i'm like and it wasn't even cut right like when there were there were slices kind of there but when i went to pull them up they would literally rip halfway down and then you had to like i don't know it was blah so it was horrible i ate half of it and i'm like this is disgusting and i threw the other half away I was so upset at that. Oh, there's the hair. I knew I felt a hair on my neck. There it is. I knew I had one floating there. Uh, four corners is not ready. I just, I felt it and I went like this and I got it. There was, there was a hair on my neck from my ponytail. Oh, Ooh. shit. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Rue, how did you find that? I deleted that. <laughs> how to do it. Oh, that was, that wasn't Rue. That was someone else pretending to be Rue. Oh, I remember those days. I just got the PayPal notification. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. Oh, I forgot about those notifications, man. I totally forgot about them. <laughs> well, thank you for the, uh, well... Dollar forty four that ends up being on PayPal out of that two dollar donation. Thank you so much. Uh, I won't say the name, but <laughs> yeah, Streamlabs donations. I forgot about those. I actually removed the command from Nightbot. Oh, Solo Scoop. That's a new one. I want to show you guys this one. So this is five tokens of play. Only one of the cups is magnetic. You got to find the right one to win it. This one is kind of cool. That camera angle does not help at all. I don't know where it drops at. But I'm just going to try to drop it like this back one real quick to see. Let's see if I can pinpoint where it drops. Okay, so like right there. Okay, so if I keep my mouse cursor right there. So it's where the light is reflecting doubly on the bottom of the bin there. And it's right below the black wire. Okay, there we go. So now we just got to try the cups. We gotta try every one of them, and you know, uh, my suggestion: start with one side and work your way over. You know, 
Nope, that one's not magnetic. So basically just try, try everything. You know, work, work a pattern, you know. So we'll try the one next to that one. You know, down here. We'll try this one. We'll just work left to right and see if we can find the one that's magnetic. Nope, that one's not magnetic. <laughs> oh, Neo, I saw that one. Neo with a 420 donation. Thank you. <laughs> Neo, you're you're the best. Have you been around one since uh, since we met up last year? Nope, that one's not magnetic. So we've ruled out four of the cups. Now when the machine goes offline, guys, they shuffle the cups. You don't know which one it is. So you just kind of got to... Play the long game here. I'll go down a little bit further than I normally do. Well, nope, that one's not, shouldn't be magnetic. I should be pretty close to like hitting it. I, I would imagine a magnet, magnet is strong enough to catch it as long as you're on the cup. I would imagine. All right, so we did those four. We'll do this one here. Well, what's up, Will? How you doing, man? Oh, nope, that one's not magnetic. Okay, we're, we're ruling them out here. We're going to find the one. Infectious Brad, if you knew how to knock them over, I would say go for it, but I don't think there's a way to knock them over. Uh, Will, how you doing, man? And Neo, oh, sorry. <laughs> that that sucks. Okay, so we did five cups so far. Well, six technically. But uh, let's try this one. We're just going to keep working our way over here. I'm going to go down just a touch further than I did before. Nope, that one's not magnetic. Will, member for two months. Thank you so much, Will. You are freaking awesome. Real, I love you, honey. Says, have a good one. Says, Joe, I sure miss those Friday night streams. I know. Um, you mean the, uh, do you mean the, uh, the gambling ones? Because they're coming back soon. It's just we're having technical issues right now. That's all. All right, so we're going to go, we're just going to do the bottoms here. We'll just do all the bottoms first, and we'll see if we can find the magnetic one here. Oh, oh, I thought it moved in the way it was. Will with a $49.99 super chat. Oh, my goodness, Will, you are freaking crazy, dude. Seriously, thank you so much, Will. Oh, my God, dude, you are nuts. Oops, I got to click over here again. Okay, so we did almost all the bottom ones here. We got to do this one. So we got three more on the bottom, and then we have what? One, two, three, four, five more on top. So we'll see if this one of these is it here. Nope. Okay. So we'll do the last two on that bottom right side over there, and we'll see if we can get it. So far, no luck. Like I said, guys, remember that uh, when somebody wins, they'll reshuffle the cups, so you don't know which one it's going to be. Uh, it's not frustrating. just takes time to... Nope, that one's not magnetic. Okay, so we've ruled out the whole bottom row. <laughs> I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. It's, it's not too pricey to play. It's only five tokens to play, so it's not too bad. And, uh, yeah, we only got a couple more cups to go. Hopefully, maybe this one will be it. Let's see. Put it right there. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there it is. There, we found it. We found the, the magnetic cup. Ha-ha. I won. I don't know how many tickets that was. I forget Yay! We found the magnetic cup. So what's going to happen, guys, is that machine is offline now. Okay. And what's going to happen is when they bring it back on, all the cups are going to be shuffled. So you never know which one it's going to be. You just got to you gotta go for the lucky, you know. I want to see Pixel Mania. So 3,000 3, tickets for six tokens. Well, you are freaking amazing. Woo! Somebody's got one set up in an area that might be easy to push it in if you drop one, like, against it. Ooh, I don't know. 
I'm gonna try. Let's see. I'm just gonna try and move it over here. I'm gonna try to grab this blue one here and see if uh, see where the claw drops first. I don't know where the t the spot is. So okay, so it's right there. So now I got my mouse on the screen. Now what's gonna happen when it comes over here? So I know it's right there above this little little white patch right there. So that's where I know I gotta put my mouse, and that's where the center of the claw drops. So it's right there. The hell was that sound? So basically what you kind of want to do is you kind of want to move a couple of these over, okay? You want to build up like a little wall in that corner over there. And then what you want to have happen is you want to drop one on top of those others that rolls into the goal. That's basically the idea. See how that one really rolled off the other way? You don't want it to roll that way, obviously, but that's kind of the idea is you drop it off the other one and hope for a good roll. Yeah, the top camera can be difficult. I, I totally get it. That's swinging. Let's see if it grabs it. Okay, we're good. All right, we got a grab. Oh, man. Okay, let's try to grab one of those yellow ones. So I'm looking where my mouse is right there. I'm just going to remember where it's at on this screen. I'll put it right back there. And now I know it's centered again. So yeah, the biggest thing, guys, like I said, is with your keyboard or you know using your computer, use your keyboard. Don't use the mouse to click on the buttons. Use your mouse as a center point. That's a great way to quote unquote hack the system. You know, little tips and tricks for you. What the? Okay, that blue one has to move. I gotta, I gotta grab that blue one again. I gotta move him out of the way. We're just gonna grab him real quick. Well, I didn't move him. I missed completely. Oh, that's because I was off. The center was there. That's why. I see that little, see this little white pixel right here. I'm using that as the basis for where my mouse is. So it's like right there. Yeah, so it's a little off center. I put the freaking claw inside that post right there once. I literally put the arm and a claw in that post once. I told Trevor, I showed him the video. I'm like, that should be a win. <laughs> okay, we moved the blue in a little bit out of the way. That should help a little bit. So Use a Sharpie to mark the center claw. No, 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 not a Sharpie. Use a dry erase marker. Trust me from a friend. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not the steak grilling life. The fun games with the occasional BS lol. <laughs> I never did any steak grilling. I never I never cooked on live stream. Oh my god. I got to build like a thing over there. Whoever that was, thank you. Rue left. Yeah, see, these ones all over here are all out of the grab area. That kind of sucks. I can't grill. I mean, I can. I, I can cook burgers and stuff on the grill, but a steak? Forget it. I don't know how to cook a steak. I can cook hot dogs and hamburgers. I'm good at that. Ooh, that's kind of where you want it. Ooh, look how that's angled. Look how that's angled. So now when you bounce one off that green one, it's going to go back towards the goal. So that's like what you really want to do right there. So I'm going to put my mouse right where it was before on this screen. I'm going to go grab this green one here. Actually, I'm going to grab this red one, I think. I'm going to grab this red one here. Right? That is swinging like a mother. Let's just not grab the, uh, the prize shoot there, so... Okay, come on. Roll right. Come on. That did not roll right. Maybe if I grab this red one up here, it'll roll into the goal or into that blue one and knock it in, right? Right? Maybe if I grab that one, it'll roll right. Let's see. 
Well, it rolled, but the blue one is in the way. Ugh. Let's try to get this green. Well, I get that red one again. Let's see. It all depends, too, of what corner, like what side of it freaking uh, hits the other one, too. That's the other thing. You know, it's all about how it falls, too. What's up, Jesse? How you doing, man? All right, here we go. See, it fell weird. Urgh! I'm getting frustrated here. This is how you had to do the balloon one. I actually won the balloon one once. Uh, I forget what it was called, like popping balloons or something. That sucker's swinging. Sorry, right, we still got it. Strong claw. All right, come on, roll the. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I grab any of these ones. They're too far over. I know what you're saying, Brad. Try to knock that blue one in. The problem is, I don't think I can. Ah! Yeah, see, I don't think you get that swing in. I wish. It'd be cool. It might, it might be possible, but... Damn it, I caught the prize shoot. Ah. Gotta get swinging like a mother here. Cooking like a mother. I'm fighting the swing. Come on. Oh, well, I I screwed it up. <laughs> oh, I pulled it backwards from the prize shoot. I'm the only person in this world that could do that. I'm literally the only person in this world that could do that. Literally pull it away from the prize shoot. And I missed. <sighs> I suck. I suck at these games. I am so horrible. Why do people watch me? <sighs> it's definitely a hard game. Uh, I'm going to try this green one. Oh, I forgot where my mouse goes. Hold on. I'm gonna try something stupid. Now that I have like the wall of bricks there, I'm gonna try this green one and see if I can just roll it along them. It's probably gonna fall to the right, but see what happens. Oh, well, that was close. It tried. All right, last try. I don't even know what I'm going to do here. I missed. Ah. Uh. 
I close my eyes only for a moment and the moment's gone all my dreams I can't pick up the blue one. It's too far to the left. See? It's too far to the left. I gotta get like a weird swing going to get it. I gotta get the left, right, and the front, front, back swing going. Yeah. See? I can't get the blue one. There's no way. Chief Drag, 90% of people give up right before a big win. <laughs> Brad, that's funny, dude. That's funny. All right, last try. This is it. Literally, this is it. This is all I'm doing. Since this is the only other one I can grab besides the green one there. And I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. Oh, my God. I can't believe I grabbed it. I thought I was going to swing it and miss it. I'm done. I can't do it. I can't freaking do it, man. Hey, Elizabeth, what's up? Uh I, 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 Zordon. What's extreme cup of pong at? Are any of them filled up yet? None of them are filled up. That is not worth it to play. Uh, is Puck it up any good? 10,000 tickets? There's a stack there. Interesting. So I know it's like somewhere like right here that this one grabs. So there's a stack of pooks. Hockey pooks. This one swings too. Wow, that is way off. Okay. I totally missed. <laughs> I totally missed the stack of pooks. Uh, EG Arcade, I don't understand what you mean by the word date every time. I don't I don't get what you're saying. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I just, I don't get it. I, I don't understand why you're putting it in every phrase. Oh, God, wait, what? Oh, well, <laughs> I knocked the whole stack over. Didn't get any. <laughs> uh, yep. Yippers. Bert, you're yelling again, Bert. If you wouldn't eat cookies in the damn bed. I'm just doing horrible today, man. Oh, Ben's playing. Ben's playing uh, Alien Ball Abduction. Remember this one? This was a new one last time we played. Wait, you know, we still have your uh we still have your command in here. I think it's just fantastic wit is your command. Only three balls that time. Woohoo. At least they put some more balls in here. Remember last time? Remember last time we played? It was like kind of empty. It was a little harder to win. Now you can grab like three or four balls at a time. Uh, uh give me a second, Wit. I'm trying to remember because I know you sent me the picture of when the doctor, when the doctor drew on your face, yes and no, um, with the sharpie. I. I believe your 
I think it's your right eye is your prosthetic, right? I mean, I got a 50-50 shot of getting it right, but... Those balls are bouncy, man. I'm probably wrong, but... Oh, I missed. How did I miss? There's 10,000 balls in there. How did I miss completely? Ah, oh, it's your left eye. Damn it. I was going to say that because I'm like... I remember looking at the pictures and I'm like, was it her left... Or was it my left that had the word no on it? And the other one said bad. Why is that flashing? This was just luck of the draw. You just got to drop, hope you grab balls, and hope that they one of them lands in that blue thing there. That's all. This is all just a lot of uh, a lot of luck, basically. Ooh. Oh, it fell out before. Oh man! Let's watch a replay. See if I can see where it fell out. Look, I made a, I made a pattern. Look, it's like one, two, three around it and all the way down. Well, now I messed up the pattern. Oh, nope, he's back. He went back. That was cool. That was cool. That was really freaking cool. Oh, I missed. How do I miss? Oh, by the way, that sound was uh, on Telegram. That is uh, the one gambling site saying that their monthly bonuses are out. Christopher says, need a lucky bounce. Yes, that is true. That is true. I'm just going to go up here. I'm just going to drop it randomly and see if I can get like more than one ball grab. There you go. That's like three balls. That's a good grab. Oh, oh, did you see that? I think it hit off the blue thing, man. It was right there. Well, I was going for that group, but I didn't go far enough left. It's okay, EGRK. Just, just relax, dude. You, you don't have to spam as much, man. Just, just relax. You know, we're all here to have fun. We're all here to have a good time. There we go. We got two in there. Ooh. Oh boy, wit. I can see where this is going. I think. Guys, I pick on Wit all the time. She's such a lovely person. Um, I wish I could have met her years ago whenever we had the Claw Council meetup. I was the only one that couldn't make that trip because I was already on vacation with my family elsewhere. And I wish I could have went down there because watching the arcade dad sing karaoke in a bunny suit... Dragon Claw Games being down there. Drew the Disney Maniac. Or Drew the Arcade Maniac. Whatever he's known as now. Um, and uh, Nola Fam Arcade. Unfortunately, I was the only one that couldn't make that meetup. I wish I could have. Oh, that bounced right over it. I wish I could have because like, there was a bunch of people showed up. Arcade Wreckage were there. Um, Fantastic Wit was there.
Like I said, just unfortunate the timing didn't work out for me. All right, DG Arcade, have a good night, man. Take care. I'm actually meeting up with a fan on uh, next Friday, I think it is. Whatever, whatever Friday the 26th, I think it is. Oh, get over it. Oh. No, the blocks in the back will not um, will not be grabbable, Brad. You could try, but the claw doesn't go there, so that's why they have them there. Cause watch, see, no way to grab them. Oh, oh man, I thought it was gonna do it. That's like the duck back here. There's a duck in the corner back here. He's hidden. See his little beak hanging out? Um, they're just they're just show. No, it doesn't swing, Brad. You notice this claw is kind of stiff. It doesn't swing unless it's dropping down. Like look, see how it doesn't swing at all? Look, see how I hit the back wall and the watch. I'll hit the left wall. See? You can't. You can't get them. There's no swing to it. Oh, come on. Bounce into the blue thing already. <laughs> Give me a blue win. Oh, jeez. Wait. So you popped your eye out at them, huh? You, you, you were looking at them. My eyes are on you. Oh, 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 it double bounced over it. Oh, my God, it was right there. It was so freaking close, man. Oh, my God, I thought that was it. It double bounced over the blue hole. Oh, my God. Jesus, Brad. You can just send it to me and I'll do a stream on it. Oh, it bounced off of it. Oh. Dude, just send that to me and I'll do a stream on it. <laughs> It'll last longer. You'll probably have more fun. Well, we're filling it up. Oh, my God. It almost did. It almost did it again. It literally is rolling right over it. Oh, my God. Brad, you and those hard 12 doubles if I was sitting at a table with you and I saw you do that I'd be gone this dumbass doesn't know how to play blackjack that's what I would say I mean I'm not sorry if you do that and you, you bust that's not that's just stupidity I mean it really is or what is it? Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. The definition of insanity or whatever. Speaking of the arcade dad, that, that now he's known as TAF Plays, the arcade family. TAF Plays. Um... I got something for him. I want to ship it out to him, but I gotta, I gotta get his address. I don't know where he's living at. I know he's in New York somewhere. I just don't know where. So, but he's been, he's got, uh, he's been making his own uh, maple syrup from trees and selling it, and it looks hella good, man. And did I get any? I got one. Oh. Almost took all it took was that one almost. Um, but yeah, Tony, Tony, as he was known, Tony the arcade dad, who's now TAF plays. He's he's making his own maple syrup and selling it locally. Like he's got gallons and gallons of this stuff, man. Brad, I told you, just send it over to me. Turn into like three live streams. 
Oh, oh, damn it. I thought it was going to bounce over. Oh, geez, wit. That's crazy. Sorry that happened to you. George says, Brady's Run Maple Festival this weekend. George, you know what? I like going out by your way um, the first Sunday of the month. <coughs> Hanover Township Fire Department down there on Route 18 by uh, Raccoon State Park. They have a breakfast uh, the first Sunday of the month. It's 10 bucks for adults, and I don't know how much it is for kids. Um, but they it's very filling. They have a lot of choices. I mean, you get pancakes, you get sausage, you get home fries, you get bacon, um, you get biscuits and gravy with it, uh, eggs. Like, it's a whole freaking menu, and it's only $10 a person, and it is filling. It's one of the best breakfasts I've ever had in my life at, like, a, like a fire hall, you know? Christopher says, is it better to grab them from higher up? What do you mean, Christopher? Because you can't grab, if you're talking about grabbing down by this blue thing in the wind area, you, can, you can't grab them down there. Um, there's no way to get them down there. You, the claw won't go low enough. If that's what you're asking. My ear has been clogged for three weeks. I can't hear anything out of this ear. I mean, I can hear a little bit, but I have tried eardrops. I have tried just letting it fall out naturally where I could feel it moving. Um, I freaking, I'm trying to get it out. I might have to go to a professional to get it like vacuumed out. But it's driving me insane. Like I can hear out of it, but it's very faint. It's like somebody basically going like this to me the whole time. You know, where you can still hear through your hand, but it's not like, you know. And it's it's driving me crazy because it's like, it's been throwing my equilibrium off. Because everything out of this ear is clear. Everything out of this ear is muffled. Uh, the earwax candles do not work. There are many, 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 many scientific studies that prove that those do not work at all. They do not cause any type of suction in the ear. Um, they do not draw earwax out. The only thing they can do is possibly run hot wax down into your ear and clog it more. So don't ever use uh, candling for your ears. It does not work. It's scientifically proven it doesn't work. You just literally have a chance to just hurt yourself. Keep picking at it? Yeah, I know. What I'm doing is, like, I'm trying... I can feel it, because every now and then, like, I can feel the earwax moving in there, in the ear, like, deep in. Every now and then, it, it moves to a point that I can hear better, you know? So what I'm trying to do with my fingers, I'm trying to create that, you know, that suction feeling where you, like, pop it out and you pull out the... Like, the earwax makes it come out. Um, that's what I keep trying to do is get it to like pop out, you know, and every now and then I'll get some out and it'll, it'll clear up a little bit. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm making progress. And then, yeah. Hold all those balls. Well, 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 uh, well. Oh. Joe, I'd give you advice, but even with the D-Bricks, I would still... Yeah, that's the drops I'm using is that D-Bricks, D D-Brocks, whatever it's called. Or I did use for like a week, and then I stopped using. It was so weird with the sizzling noise in your ear because the hydrogen peroxide. But the, the, the problem that that does is if there is a blockage like I have, it can actually cause the earwax to gel up and then harden harder. And it won't come out. So that's that's one of the problems sometimes that with the, the eardrops is you think you're helping yourself, but you're actually making it worse. Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta get. I gotta go to a doctor where they take the camera and they stick it down in, and they have the scoop thing, and you know they could scoop it out. My little brother had this when he was like 16 years old. He had a huge cloggage in his ear, and he had to go to the doctor. And when they pulled it out, it was like this hard, like big clump of earwax, like really big, that was way down in his ear, and like it was, it was hardened. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, your ENT loves you for that. <laughs> yeah. I haven't, I, I, I mean, I've had this happen when I was many years younger, decades younger, but obviously haven't had it recently. So, and there was one night too, like I was, I was literally going this and it popped and it was clear. I'm like, I can hear again. And then I felt like the earwax like moving real slow down and it covered my ear again. And I'm like, I can't hear again. Oh, I was so upset. Like it was clear and then it just, you could feel like I could hear the sound like moving and it covered it up again and clogged up. So that's why I know it's loose in there, but it's just, it's driving me crazy. Because, like, when I'm talking to people, i got to turn my head this way so they talk into this ear. And if, like, I'm sitting at a table and, you know, they're on this side of me, I can't hear out of this ear very well. i got to turn my head or ask them to repeat themselves, and I sound like a freaking, you know, deaf person. I kind of am, technically. Oh, come on, push that green ball off of there on into the blue thing. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I've noticed with, like, when I'm in the shower, I will run water, like, not directly into the ear from the shower head, but, like, against the side of my ear so it runs into my ear. Because I know I don't want to rupture my eardrum, obviously. Um, but I'll let water, like, get into there, and I can feel it, like, sloshing around. Then I'll turn my head to the side, and I can feel it, like, draining out. I'm like, yes, maybe it'll clear it out. <laughs> Uh, Hank wants to know, is the Pittsburgh toilet a thing? Absolutely it is. It's called the Pittsburgh Potty, actually. The correct terminology is Pittsburgh Potty. And it is in the basement. And basically the idea of it was uh, for coal miners, steel workers, those guys that were real dirty that came home, you know, real covered in soot or... Uh, you know, all kinds of uh, uh, dirt and debris. They didn't, obviously, they didn't want that tracked up into the house. So if the guys had to use the bathroom or use a shower, it was right there. And basically, it's literally a toilet that is in the basement and is usually next to, like, where your washing machine or dryer were or your, like, sink. You know, you know most houses have, like, they call it a wash base and a sink uh, in the basement there next to the washer and dryer. Basically, it just was right there. There was no walls. And you basically just did your business. And that was it. And that, like I said, that was for the guys for, like, steel workers or, like, coal miners that were dirty. And, like, before they got in the shower, if they had to go to the bathroom when they got home, that's where you went. But it was literally just a toilet in the basement with, like, no walls and no doors. You just literally sat there. And if somebody walked down the doors, you just kind of say, hey, I'm using the potty. Now, a lot of lot of places, my brother had a house that he, uh, one of his first houses that he owned. Um, they had one in the basement, and it was, they basically closed it in because it was under the stairs that came down. They closed it in, made it like its own little, like, half bathroom with a sink and stuff. Yep. Um... A lot of places did that. A lot of houses when they updated, but like, you know, 100 years ago, 90 years ago, 80 years ago, nobody cared. They just came in, they used the bathroom, and then they, like I said, they went upstairs and showered, or, or they had a shower downstairs there to wash off. And Oh my God, can I just win this thing already? We filled it up so much. I'm just trying to get a win here. 
But yes, to answer your question, Hank, uh, the Pittsburgh potty is absolutely a real thing. And there's actually YouTube videos on it and stuff. You can actually take a look at it and see. Um, yeah, it's it's absolutely a real thing. And how, a lot of houses still have it, especially if the houses are from, you know, like the 1940s, 1950s. Maybe even up to the 60s and 70s, possibly. <coughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's it's a real, absolute, real thing. Oh my god! How did nothing go in there yet? It literally has a wall around it. <laughs> Brad, you need you need help, dude. You need help in your arcade habits and your gambling habits, dude. You definitely need to to get yourself some help. You gotta go to some some type of help place, man. Chris says, "Get in the damn hole." I know, I'm trying. This damn thing just doesn't want to go in there. I need to grab like four balls, and one just needs to go crazy, bouncing right in. And you, oh my god! Did you see that? It's sitting right there. It's sitting right to the left of it. Right to the left? Just to the left of it. How did it not roll back down in? No, I got one. It's the white ball. It's the one to do it. That wasn't even... How did this not get knocked back down in? Like, they're literally on top of it. Look, it's on top of it. It is on top of it. I just wanted to fall in the hole. Just get in the hole. Where the hell is it? Where the hell's my... That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. Suck my white ass ball. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Suck my white ass ball! <laughs> I'm gonna start playing it every time I miss. Oh my god! Oh my god! All my Happy Gilmore quotes I have. Oh, finally! All it took was me happy Gilmoreing it. Look at that reload for seventy-five hundred tickets. All that for seven thousand five hundred tickets, and check it out—it reloads. That was cool. Finally. By the way, C Rex, if you're watching, dude, uh, good job on the game. I'm glad you got the things fixed because this, the thing used to get stuck. Uh, coming back up sometimes they fixed it so uh c-rex if you're watching good job man finally finally the rock has won the game air horn what like this like that what I have it on my soundboard we're good a cat Mario plush oh my god 40 tokens of play eh, I'll pass thanks 2,000 tickets 22 tokens of play is this easily winnable maybe wow that that angle sucks you can't see anything <clears throat> oh yeah, wait. That was a good. I, I, I mean, guys, I watch WrestleMania. It's a good thing. Ooh, I need a new wallet. Mine's falling apart. 
white ceramic pluggable wax warmer. Oh yeah, I got some stuff from here, guys. Um, I had some stuff shipped. I got a wax warmer. I got some wax cubes. Um, I got Michelle like this little uh, flower thingy. Um, it was for Valentine's Day. I got my niece a uh, pug dressed as a bunny because she has pugs as dogs. Um, so yeah, I've, I've shipped some stuff from here and they have a lot of different things like the 24 hour machine here. Um, sometimes they're going to put big prizes in there. So right now it's 3000 tickets, but there's other times where it's like that wax warmer, you know, I got the wax warmer from the 24 hour game. Um, so yes, I do play off camera too, guys. That's, that's the other thing. I do play off camera because I do enjoy somebody's playing puck it up. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, they're not playing. The pink dot lied to me. Why did you lie to me? I appreciate you guys all watching here, hanging out. Like I said, if you're interested in uh, buying a wristband, I do have them for sale. It's five bucks for one, ten bucks for three of them. Um, they do come with stickers as well. So it's a wristband and stickers. Uh, probably a business card in there too, like I said. But that five dollars for one, it covers shipping. Um, three of them covers uh, the shipping for three of them. They're the ten dollars for that. So that is shipped directly to you. So if you guys do do that, let me know. Um, send me in for your information in the uh, in the, uh, the form there. It's all in the uh, description how to do it. I'm gonna make a community post soon too. Uh, PayPal or Venmo, just when you send it over, send me your um, your address while you're sending that, like as the note on the on the payment form. So, um, let's see. Solo Cup is back up. Somebody's playing it, or somebody was playing it. See, now you don't know which one it is. They shuffled them all around. Oh yeah, the Penguin game's on. They're pretty much out of playoffs now anyway. They screwed themselves by losing to Boston on Saturday. Uh, yep, starts at 7 here, so. Probably probably singing the national anthem and getting ready. Um, let's see here. You know, I think it's enough claw crazy for today. We got our win on there. I'm happy with that. Um, let's do this. I have been, where are my tokens? Oh, I'm logged into the wrong account. Okay, hang on, guys. I gotta log into the other account. Oh, what did I use for that one? Was it? Is it Facebook? I think it was. Give me a second. I got to remember what I logged into with it. It says you you previously logged in with Facebook. I'm like, okay, cool. There we go. Now we're good. So I've been saving up on here, guys, um, for quite a few days. There we go. I forgot. I signed up with two different accounts, my Google and my Facebook, and I tried to have them integrate it, but they, they, they didn't. Um, so I have 123 tokens on here, not a ton, 4,000 tickets. This is Arcade Online. You guys remember this one, so get an ear camera and live stream it <laughs> that would be freaking crazy um brad if i find out I, I i'm not sending you stickers because i know you're going to deface something with them and i don't want my name associated with that so because you've already told me what you're going to do i'm not going to give you anything <laughs> What's on the play field? Let's see. Is there a 500? There's a letter. Let's give it a shot. I don't know where the timing is. 
Ooh, that is really slow. Well, I got a double puck. I think I got a 20 and a 50. Yep, I got two pucks. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so that's really slow. So I got to go way back behind. There's a 500 there. Let's try to get this letter first. That is really slow. I got to go way back behind that. Oh my god, wow, okay. Now it's on the edge while well, I pushed a 500 in, but... I'm gonna try right there. Okay, that is too late. Okay, I gotta go earlier than that. Wow. This arm is really slow. Oh, that was right there. Okay. A little bit later than that. Like right there. There! Oh, how did it not go in? Oh my god, how did that not go in there? I might be late. Oh, I was early. Okay, okay. We're trying, guys. We're trying. Oh my god, now that was late. The other one was early. I bet I hit it the same spot. There it is. Got the letter. I think that's 500 tickets on here. Now, where's that 500? There's one there. There's one there. All right, so there's two 500s out as well. Well, I tried to push it out to the edge. It's close. There's a letter out again. Oh, okay, it's on the edge. Okay, here comes that 500. Let's sink 500, and then we're going to call it on this one. We'll move to another game. That was late. I could tell just by the way the arm moved. It's still on the edge, though. Come in. Maybe. Oh, come on. Oh, that was late. Oh, oh my God. How did I go in? Ah, now I lost it. I don't know where it's at. Okay, there it is. I gotta wait for it to come around again. Okay, so it's the third one on the edge in that group. Oh, it got pucked. I got pucked. You gotta be kidding me! I'm gonna spend all my tokens just to get freaking a thousand tickets here. You've got to be freaking kidding me, man. This arm is slow, dude. Oh, my God. How did that not go in? Look at that. I lost it now. I don't know where it's at. Uh, I see the letter on the edge. I think I'll go for the letter. Oh, my God. Oh, I see. It's two behind the letter. How did you not go in? The letter's 500 too, so either one works. Oh, now the 500 and the letter are together. Look at that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, dude. <laughs> now I'm getting pucked. I'm getting pucked beyond all belief. There's a 500 here. I'm going to go for this 500 right here. There's two 500s together right there. I lost them. Oh, they're over here. Okay, there it is right there. Ah! How did that not go in? Dude, for real. 
This arm sucks, man. I'm getting off this arm. I only put like three pucks in and one of them was a double. Alright, I'm not playing this arm. This arm seems slow. There's there's an arm at my Dave and Buster's on Zombie Snatcher that's super slow. It could be the motor in it, something. There's another arm that are like, like super fast, and then there's one arm that goes. What's up, Theo? Yeah, let's try a different arm here. Let's try just this one. Let's see, see if the timing is any different on this one. Again, every arm is different, so... This camera's a little bit better, too. Uh, where's that 500 it is? Okay, right there. Still slow as hell. Alright, like one more try on this. I'll try for that 500 again. Ah, oh, I just missed it. Alright, one more try. One more try. I'm watching it. That's it. It's bunched up. I can't get it. Ugh. I suck at this game. I'm horrible at what I do. <sighs> correct, Neo. That is correct. Well, go get it, Brad. <laughs> Make it happen. Oh, they got Willy Wonka on here. I wonder how this works with the cards. I'm kind of curious. Okay, this one looks better than that side, at least. Well, this one has one hanging over the edge. Hmm. Like a bar of chocolate, please. Oh, so it's 10 per credit. There's no bonus or anything. Okay. Like a bar of chocolate, please. Like a bar of chocolate, please. Oh, I see. So the, the cards must have RFID and whatever the fruit is that's on it, that's how many tickets you get. Interesting. That's an interesting way to do it. Now, if they were able to do that online here, why can't they do that in arcades with, like, the collection on the machine and then, like, it builds up in the back... <laughs> Neo. So then, like, if you leave it, somebody else can come in and, you know, hey, if you run out of toke or credits, then oh well. You know, somebody else can come in and play and snipe a jackpot, basically. Like, that's just, I mean, you can also control how the cards are coming. Look at this, fall! Although this is kind of cool how they did this on here, so I gotta say, I'm impressed. How is that not falling yet? You're going to love this. Just love it. Oh no, I won't hold you responsible. Oh, good push. There it goes. All right. Let's work on this side now. Come on, golden ticket. Oh, not even close. No, oh, ten more shots. Let's move it a little bit. We'll do a couple more over here. I'll put like 50 more on. See if we can. Um... I'd like a bar of chocolate, please. There we go. That should be enough to give us two spins of the wheel. Let's see if we can get something to fall over here. Um, there's a banana. I don't see any of the grape cards, but those orange ones are moving quick there on this side. 
What's up, Matthew? He says, you liking the XD games? What, X, what XD games? Twenty-five shots. Hey, that's another. That should be close to another bonus for us. I don't know if we're gonna be right there. Oh yeah, we're gonna be right there. It's gonna be perfect. We're gonna be right at two bonuses. Little trick on this game in the arcades. Uh, sometimes if you have like one or two shots left, if you press the button fast enough, sometimes you can get an extra shot. Like the game will give you an extra shot even though you don't have that many token banks. Ten more shots? Well, that guarantees us another spin in the wheel at least. Look how fast that side moved already. Look at that. That's because compared to your traditional coin pushers... Oh, look at that. That's all going to go. Oh, it's about to fall. We're going to get 150. We're going to get the 20. It looks like maybe another 20. There we go. Spin the wheel. And... Oh! Oh, it's literally... It's, it's like a millimeter from the golden ticket. Oh, my God. It's literally right there. Oh. Oh, yeah, Matthew, I'm not a huge fan of the Treasure Quest one on here. Uh, this is kind of cool. I'm actually surprised it works so well. I can't leave those hanging there. All those tokens I've been saving up, guys. <laughs> one a day here, one a day there, you know. Come on, fall over. There we go. Oh, that all fell. Look at that. There's a banana ready to... Well, it's close to the edge. It's not quite there yet, but... Come on, golden ticket. Golden ticket. Nope. Oh, 50 tickets. Okay, that helps. I think we're going to leave that there. Banana's 80 tickets, but is it really worth putting in more? Probably not. That was a good push, though, over on this side. That definitely, uh, that went quick over there. So, 347 tickets. Not a huge ticket game. But, you know, in the real arcade where you collect the, the cards and turn them in for the, you know, the big bonus, you can absolutely, uh, you know, make some huge tickets. So, Mount Shebang! Is there any goobers near the edge? This one, but somebody's playing it by the looks of it. Uh, this one has a few right there. Let's throw a couple on. This is Matt's game, guys. See if we can... Time to climb, Mount There's one stuck right here. Look at that. Come on, baby. Let's go. Time to climb, Mount Time to climb Mount Shebang. I like hearing Matt's voice. Time to climb Mount Shebang. Alright, Goobers, let's go. Mount Shebang. Take a party time. Oh, we were close. This is just like Pearl Fishery. It goes fast. Your, your credits go really fast on it. Oh, we're in ticket party time, of course. I think I put one through the tickets on the party time. Got a couple goobers down here. Let's see if we can... So you guys have told me I gotta hold the boost thing from the last time I played. I think I screwed that timing up. 
Nope, that one should be good. Okay, that one's gonna go up. Uh, I think I screwed this one up though. Maybe, 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 maybe. Come on, fall me up, fall me up, fall me up. Come on. Get down there. Oh, it just missed the up down here. And 80 or 90 tickets up here. Coin, coin party time. It's only like 10 seconds. It's so freaking fast. Oh, look, there's a there's a coin on a goober. <laughs> Did you see it? It's a lot of coins coming out, man. Okay, I'm not going to speed this one up. No, now I will. Now I will. Now I will. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on. Get in there. Come on. Do it. Go. Go. Okay, we got the up. Okay, we got that up. I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to let it Get up there! Oh, all right, we got the up. We're on level three. Don't fall yet. Don't fall yet. Don't fall yet. No, that's gonna be coins. Ah, it's the blue twenty coins. Okay, so that one's good. So that one went into the up there. But this one, there, there's another one down here. It's gonna go into this. Oh, that one went in the up too. Cool. Oh, don't go in tickets. No. Damn it. Stop! Go quick! Uh, it's, a, it's gonna be tickets again. It's all about luck up here, guys. You can't really control it for the, the upper levels here. It's it's all about luck. Yeah, let's put our last two plays on here. Why not? See if it's enough to push it over. Nope, not enough. Oh, wait, hang on. Second wave. Oh, just enough to push it. Hopefully, the game understands that I have a goober in there and it doesn't time out. <laughs> oh, Brad. Get in there. All right, we got the up. Okay, good. We got the up. This one should be the up. Come on, fall, 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 fall in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, we got tickets. This one needs to swing around for a while. Needs to swing for a while. Needs to swing for a while. Now fall in. Get in there. Up. Okay. Swing for a while. Swing for a while. Please, swing for a while. No, it's going to be tickets. Oh, we were so close to the up, guys. We made it to that level there, and then we could have went to the super bonus up here of 5,000 tickets. Well, that's all the tokens I have on Arcade Online, so I can't play anything else. Um, got a few, a few thousand tickets there. Can't complain. Um, <laughs> Aaron, sorry to hear about your back, man. Looks. Brad says buy more. With what money, dude? With what money? I don't have any extra money right now to be buying stuff, so. That sucks. Dude died in a motorcycle crash. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, if you guys want to buy a wristband, um, information's in the description below. No, I, I could not, Brad, because it's only going to be literally like five bucks. Not even. It'll probably be like 80 cents. Absolutely, Theo. And now uh, you can do that and I'll send it out to you, man. For sure. Um,. Seriously, Brad, it would be like literally like five bucks, if that, 
it's it's so low right now. It's because I don't play on there, so there's that, and then I gotta talk to Grotto too. That reminds me, I gotta talk to Mr. Grotto there. You said the ball or the, the blocks are grabbable on here, Brad? I want to see. Oh, they are. Look, somebody tumbled them over. I don't even think they're gettable, though. Like, I don't even think you can grab them. That claw is not big enough to grab them. Brad, you don't get the stickers because I know what you're going to do with them. You, you, you sealed your fate there. That's like... That's like when you, uh, like if you go to like a, a, an ammunition shop and you tell the person selling you the stuff that you're going to use it to rob a store or something, they legally cannot sell it to you anymore. Um, kind of like if you go to a glass place um, and you use certain um, language in there, you... Uh, they immediately cannot sell it to you because it's for tobacco use only. Yes, it is, Brad, because I know what you're going to do with the stickers. And, again, I can't allow that to happen because you're going to ruin my reputation, dude, okay? I have a reputation to keep, okay? I can't be doing that with the stickers. I can't be letting people do that. Do not stick them on things. And if an arcade asks me, I'll say, look, you know. But for the love of God, don't do it at a casino. I will kill you. Because that's going to spread among the casino community, and then I'll have a bad name over there. And I don't want to have a bad name over there. I have a good reputation with a lot of slot channels, and I want to keep that reputation. Well, Ben won. There it goes. Shwunk. I like it. it's like Bleh! it pukes out the balls like Bleh! <laughs> makes me laugh. It's fun. It's a good game. It's a great game actually. Oh, is the purple ball gettable again? Somebody's playing it. Nope, it's not gettable. It's way over there. Still way off in the distance. Purple ball, no bueno. Brad, just because you're pissed off at the, the casino with how you play doesn't mean I want you to drag me through the mud with it. I'm just being honest, dude. Did this one change at all? Anybody rearrange it at all? Oh, they did. I gotta try to go for it. So let's start by moving these ones over towards the chute. Like, dude, I, I know you're upset with how things have happened, you know, with you in the past here. Um, you know, your, your history at the casino and online and stuff, and I know your anger issues and stuff, and I just, I can't have that happen, okay? Just understand that, all right? I mean, Brad, we've talked a lot on private messages. You know, I've told you a lot of things. You need to... You definitely need to, to get some help, dude, with anger issues and everything like that. You're, you're definitely having a lot of... You're, you're in that point of, like, the gambling phase and stuff that it's not fun anymore. And you're not, you're not enjoying it. You know? And that's where we always say, look, you gotta stop, you gotta walk away. I know it's a hard habit to break, trust me. 
any ha habit is a hard habit to break. But you just, you, you, you can't be doing what you do, man. Like, when you tell me to go to the arcade and you're purposely hitting whack and win as hard as you can trying to break it. Or like, hey, let's break the claw machine and do this and do that. And it's like, you know, I can't, I can't associate with someone who does that, you know? So I know what's going on with that, Brad. I know you've told me, um, but the way you've handled it is it could have been a lot better. You did bring a lot of that onto yourself with the way you've handled it. And I'm not trying to like, you know, you know, trying to be, I'm trying to be a friend, you know, I'm trying to be a good dude to you, I'm trying to watch out for you. And, you know, you gotta, I understand, okay, you may have enough points and stuff to get the next card. But don't sit there and demand it and, and say, hey, look, I, I should be having this already and blah, blah, blah. You know, they have their periods where they, you know, they send out new cards and things like that. You know, they have their time frames and how they handle stuff. And you just got to let the system work itself out. Um, but like I said, I mean, you know, you, you I'm not going to bring it to light what you did, but just the way you handled that could have been a lot more professional a lot more courteous and they may have helped you out you know if you just weren't that way <laughs> let's just say oh you dirty green blob i thought that was going in i thought that was going in man god Neo, it's okay. You hang out. It's it's cool. Just stay here. I I, I understand that, Brad. So okay, you want to bring it to light? That's fine. Um, again, they have their systems. They have your your account set up the way they have it. It's all in the back end. You know, I don't. I mean, I know. Trust me, I know. I spend a lot at the at the casino myself. You know, every year I do. In fact, I can write pretty much all of it off on taxes. Any wins I have, you know, any jackpots, because trust me, I spend a lot. Um, my win loss is always negative. <laughs> so that's how it is. You dirty, knock it in. Um, no, that's okay. Nia, just lurk. Just lurk. Just, just chill. Trust me, we want, we want to have good vibes here, guys. We just want to relax and have a good time. And... But yeah, I mean, you just need to, you just need to, to, like, that's one of the things right now that definitely needs to just be let go. No, well, Nia, just, just don't. That's all. Just don't. Let me handle it. How's that sound? Let, let me handle it. That way you can just vibe and relax. But Brad, I mean, I, I, like I said, I think you have a lot of anger issues, especially with what you've been telling me. Like, you're taking your anger out at the arcade, like, oh, I'm going to go do this, and I'm going to purposely break the machines, or I'm going to you know, purposely do this and do that. And it's like, you, you can't, I mean, and if it's stemming from that at the casino, then there's a deeper issue, man. <laughs> Definitely something you gotta. I mean, Brad, you're, you're a cool dude. Trust me. I mean, you, you supported Carson a lot. You supported me. Um, on the other channel, you know, a lot of stuff, and it's very much appreciated, trust me. It's just, I think, like I said, I think you just 
don't know how to control your anger on issues um, for situations and stuff where you let things agitate you to the point where it is uh, becomes a problem. You, you, one of the things I've definitely noticed is you don't let things go. You know, you have to, you have to just let the universe vibe for you, man. That's like the biggest thing. Uh, how do you win on this, Chris? You got to knock something through that bar there and into that wind chute. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get something to tumble right to, to knock either the green or the blue one in. I'm trying to get something to tumble right to, to basically knock it in. But it's... Oh, see, I tried to knock it over into the other green one there. It's a, it's a tough game. It is. Trust me. This is a tough game. Oh, frick. What am I doing? Forgot to put my mouse there. Well, uh, Brad, that's been handled. That has been, that came to light, and that has been handled. A lot of that has been handled, trust me. That doesn't happen over there anymore because those people are, are not there anymore. God, what a bounce. What a bounce that was. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to win this thing. I'm going to win if it kills me. Oh, it doesn't go away. Well, let's see if we can swing it. Oh, uh, well, I moved. Okay, I moved it into a grapple position now. So there's that. Yeah, Br Brad, that whole thing has been. I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk about that because that's not my place, not my channel. You know. And Carson's not here to talk about it if he wants to, which I know he doesn't. Um, that's that's something that we just need to leave over there. And, yeah. I, I know, Brad. I know. Trust me. I know. They, they all got found out, dude. Trust me. And those are the same people that tried to cause the issues on his Discord and why we had to set up all the... All the extra security features and everything. All because people lost their minds over a giveaway for 20 bucks, you know. Like Carson said, money changes you, and I, I know it does. I've seen it happen in people, and I hate it when it happens. You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god. Dude. That was like the perfect boss. If that green one wasn't there in the shoot, that would have been in. That would have been a win. Let's see if we can grab this yellow one. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, cool. I was able to swing it. Cool. Now give me a good bounce. That was a weird one, but now they're all over there. So now... I'm going to grab this other yellow one and we're going to have a great time. I know, Brad, but right now, like like I said, that got taken care of. So, because trust me, the truth came out from trusted people that knew. I found out what was going on and put a stop to it. And Carson put a stop to it, so. Oh, I almost got it. That was close. Yeah, the the mods and trusted people over there found out what was going on with with uh, we'll just say stealing stealing wins and calling them their own. See, and that's I mean, Brett, I mean, you and me, like, trust me, I I still have a gambling problem too. There's no doubt about it. Um, but I'm better than I was when I was younger. 
I know not to, you know, spend every last dime I have. But there's people when it gets to that point where you're not desperate for 25 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever, you know, to be tipped over you to play. When you're not desperate for just that little bit to get that last scritch, scritch that itch, you know. Oh, I dropped it at the wrong time. Damn it. Um, when you're when you're at that point where you're trying to get that last, I need my last fix. I need my last fix. Um, you gotta really get some help on that point. Like you, you really gotta, you gotta walk away, man. Like that at that point, if I if I ever get that way with arcades, like oh man, the jackpot's right there. All I need is another five dollars and I can get it. Like that's just the same, you know. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, well, I almost pulled it out. Brad, I mean, I'll be honest, dude. I don't know how much you're playing. I don't want to know how much you're playing and stuff. You say you're depot every day. Um, I mean, you say you can afford to lose it. That's great. But imagine what you can do if you put it in like a CD or a savings account or something. And just let it build up. That's what Will did, man. When Will got his huge hit... He literally put a ton of it into a savings account to save. Well, I kind of screwed that one now. And he's going to let the interest build on it because with that much going into that account, he's going to build so much interest on there, it's not even going to be funny, dude. Like, he'll be able to pull it out, like, every six months and, and just gamble for fun and keep the original amount in there with the interest that he's going to get. It's crazy. Oh, knock it in. Oh, I almost knocked that green one in. Oh. You. <sighs> eh, there's still a lot of blue there. I thought it was closer to shoot than it is, but there's a lot of blue there still. All right, last try here. I can't keep doing this, man. I'm going to try to knock this green one in. I'm going to try to use the arms of the claw. To knock it in. We're going to swing it like a, like a crazy man here. Swing it like Georgia Jungle. You almost did it. If that arm did not catch the top of that, that would have definitely probably knocked it in. God, man. was literally there man that was there swing it like tarzan you no oh my god it was tilting down and the claw grabbed it oh my god oh my god damn it Oh, I'm done. I can't play after that one, man. I am so, that one just skeeved me so bad right there. God. That one just, that one ticked me off, man. See that? Mm, see, I got angry over that. And it's like, gotta walk away, dude. Gotta walk away. Let's see if I can win Swinger. I wanna win, I wanna get over 100,000 here. I need a thousand. Oh, there's a couple balls in the spot. Let's see if we can grab something. Looks like they reshuffled. So, yeah, there's a couple over here. All right, let's worth a shot. Let's see what happens. I'll try for this blue and orange one right here. And, well,. I missed. <laughs> I missed both of them. <laughs> oh, that was balls. This one, see, this one I don't need to use my mouse because I know I've played this one so much, I know where it drops. Like, I, I know right where it is on the claw, basically, that it's going to drop on that orange and blue in there. Like that. Oh, 
Oh, the bounce. Oh my god, I hate when it bounces like that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Allergies, man. And supposedly ticks are already bad, too. I've, I've seen people post in, like, local group uh, things that like at the park. Hey, guys, heads up. Check your pets. Check your kids. Uh, we picked three ticks off of the kids already. And it's like, oh, jeez. So, yeah, just, just be careful out there, guys. If you're in a climate like where I live and where ticks are prevalent... You know, check your animals once they're out, once they're outside, or check uh, yourself or other humans. You know, L especially little humans that are more prone to playing in grassy areas that may um, they may collect them. You know, uh, they may they may climb onto them. And I, I just I can't get a grip on the balls. <laughs> I can't get a grip on the balls. my god it was right there oh i thought that was gonna go in it looked good at first and then it just didn't it looked good and then it didn't all right yellow and orange right there nope i missed it how did i miss that oh that's interesting i just noticed how it's throwing them so i gotta go for this orange and blue one Nope, a little bit too much swing. There we go. Orange and blue. Yahoo! <gasps> right there. It was right there. It was right there. It was literally right there. It, it literally hit off the red. I don't know how much closer I could be, man. Yellow and orange. Nope, I missed. I, I'm, so I'm thinking I gotta go for purple and green here because of the way it's throwing. The way the claw is coming up and throwing it out to the side, it looks like it's going more down than it is to the left. Whoops, a little too much swing. Let's see if I can get pink and green. Nope. Oh, see what I mean? It's thrown it more straight than it is to like to the left, like it was before. So like this purple and green is like a perfect one to go for. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, I hit the 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 thing, the platform. Damn it! That sucks when that happens. When you're like right there, like yeah, I got it. Oh. Purple, green. It threw it to the left. Now it's going to the left again. So you have to look at this little thing up in the corner. See where my mouse is, guys, over here? This little thingy tells you which way the claw is going to throw. Whichever way it's facing, the claw throws it the opposite way when it goes up. So you got to kind of keep an eye on that. Because there's been times where it's been on the other side, and it's like it throws it backwards. Oh, come on. I should have grabbed one of those. Yeah, so you have to keep an eye on this little tab up here. That's a little hint for you when you play Swinger here. And why do I bounce it like that? Because it does less swinging of the claw. Why do I just tap the keyboard like that? Because I found out that it does less swinging of the claw. That should. How did I not grab pink and green? Joe, you're sucking today, man. This is just horrible. Oh, there you go, Brad. Now, Brad, here's what you do, okay? Let me let me give you let me let me give you a little advice, okay? Give me 500, <laughs> and I'll do a live stream. 
And then you can take any of the profits from the live stream, whatever the profits are. Oh. Oh my god, it bounced over the hole. <laughs> oh, okay. Got a couple more shots at this, and then... Okay, which way is that thing facing? Okay, good. It's still swinging to the left. Okay. So I basically got to go for yellow and orange here, right below the purple and purple and yellow. I got to go for that orange and yellow one. Right there. I missed it. I tried to grab like six balls at once. That's the, You can't do that. This claw isn't made for that. Oops. Time that swing, that, that movement wrong to stop the swing. Okay, there we go. A little bit down. Touch up. A little bit to the right. And, okay. I got two balls and one almost went in. That was weird. All right, last, I think, well, uh, I don't know if there's anything gettable where it's throwing right now. Uh, we'll try purple and yellow, but I don't know if that's in the right area for it to, to hit the hole. Let's see. Oh, almost. All right, so there's nothing else back in that corner, guys, so that's where you kind of got to go. Well, there's nothing that's going to go in the hole, so I'm not going to throw it at it. Um, I think that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. I, I am just I'm frustrated because of that, that, that pixel, uh, whatever it was called, pixel something win. Oh, somebody must have won it because it's not up there anymore. Yeah, somebody won the pixel game. Um, well, congrats to them, so... But, uh, you know, it was fun. Um, you know, we got a couple wins there on Claw Crazy. We got uh, a couple wins on uh, Arcade Online. We opened a fan mail. Uh, told you guys about the wristbands. So if you guys want to get yourself, like I said, the wristband and the stickers and stuff, the information's in the description. I am going to put a community post out. I'll put the information in the Discord as well. Um, so, yeah, all of that will be over there. But I hope you guys had fun. There's going to be a new video tomorrow. Members, if you are a member of the channel, you have access to it now. It was put out yesterday. Um, YouTube allows me to do this thing called uh, scheduling members to public. So I can literally take every video and put it on members mode and then schedule them for the public, which is kind of cool. I like it. It's a great feature. It makes it a lot easier. It's basically the equivalent of what we asked for for early access. Basically, it gives members early access, and then it automatically goes public without us having to switch it. We just schedule it and do it and forget about it. And that is freaking amazing. The only thing it doesn't do is notify members whenever I put it on members. It puts a community post out and says, hey, members, here you go. But if you don't have your notifications on, you're not going to get it. So, But no, I appreciate you guys all being here. Thank you, everybody, for the Super Chats. Um, again, it's Monday night. Relax. Everybody have fun. We're all here to smile and have a good time. And uh, remember, guys, I just want you all to, to, to be nice to each other in the chat and everything and, and in Discord and in the community. And we all just want to watch out for each other and, you know, all that good stuff. So, but like I said, new, new video tomorrow for the public. Members, like I said, you guys have it now. And, yeah, that's going to do it for tonight. Almost three hours. Three hours of live stream for you guys. There you go. <laughs> But I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, we'll probably see you Friday on the Gambles channel, the JJ General One Gambles channel. Um, that will should be back up. It's probably just going to be me. We'll see because I know Will and Dawn and Carson are doing their, their raw stream over on Ticket Time on Sunday now, not Saturday. They're doing it on Sunday. And so I know they're not going to be in, and I don't think Ray is, is uh, available because he just had to pay his taxes. So... Fun, fun. Um, but yeah, so it'll probably just be me. And it's probably not even going to be on like uh, one of those those sites. It's going to be on like, probably like my local casino online site, probably Bet Rivers. I'm going to see if I can get any deals for depositing. I'm going to contact their customer service and say, hey, look, I've run a lot through. Is there anything you guys can do for me? You know, I've deposited, I've played a lot at the real casino. Is there anything you guys can give me for like a deposit bonus? And we'll see if they can uh, 
they could work something for me. Like I said, I'm going to contact their, their customer service and just be polite, be courteous, see if I can work something. So, But hopefully, like I said, we should see you guys Friday over there. If anything changes, I'll let you know. But for now, that's going to do it over here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, hanging out with us. Put the outro music on. You guys can't hear it because I have the sound muted for some reason. Um, but nope, that is it for tonight, guys. Seriously, thank you so much, everybody, for Super Chats, the memberships, everything. You guys are amazing. All of that allows me to keep doing the arcade videos and stuff for you, and I, I, I very much appreciate it. And you guys know I love playing those arcade games and doing videos for you. So just want to entertain and have fun. But that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Before you head out, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And I appreciate y'all being here. But for now, from the general to the arcade army, stay safe, take care of each other, always have a positive mental attitude. And as I always say, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.